Hi, I'm Jack, and I like video games, and how are you doing this lovely, lovely evening? It is currently 9.46 p.m. Central Standard Time here on Thursday, September 6th, 2018. Hope things are treating you well tonight. Hope things are going well. I had a number of technical issues to deal with before I started off this stream. I apologize for that, but hey, we're here. We're playing some video games. I'm very, very excited. And uh, and now for gee, I've got I've got so much stuff going on. I got too many damn things happening right now. You guys, hide that. All right, excellent. Hey, Waterboy five twenty five, resub for nine months. Thank you very much for that. Mobby eight as well for eighteen months. How's your week going? Going quite well. By the power of the big rebonded. Love you very much, guys. All right. So uh, you guys know the drill. If you've been watching this for a while, you know that I've been playing Sevtech. Trying to get back into it. I know pretty much everyone right now is watching uh, people play Spider-Man, right? Isn't that, isn't that what everyone's doing right now? It's quite exciting. Uh, Rival Helicopter, four months in a row, science, and he says, woo, four months. And Sox, Saxman Mike, for 22 months, you get your $200 when you pass go. <sighs> calm down, Elise, calm down. Um, Scotcher, for four months, time to play Gloom. I don't know what that means. Uh, science Stardust says, you're cool. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. Science Stardust. Um, and uh, what else? Uh, and that's all of you guys by the power of the beer bonnet. Thank you very much. Pack Monster, how was Pax West Jack? It was good. It was a lot of fun, man. I love uh, I love going to Pax. It's always a good time. Rival Helicopter, let's not forget our epilepsy awareness. Uh, hey, absolutely not. Absolutely not. All right. So it's been it's been a hot minute since we played some uh, some Sevtech. Does anyone remember how to play this thing? Cooked rat meat. When did I get that? Gross. Um Hope you guys all remember how to play this. And so we're going to do that. Uh, TT Rex, hey Jack, hope you had a good day. Going to have some fun playing Minecraft, right? I hope so. TT Rex, 22 months in a row. Uh, okay, okay, or O, uh, O-H, Ohakume, zero. 12 months in a row. Hey, it's my anniversary. Also free from work at the time of Jack's stream. Keep being awesome. Thank you very much. Sir Lance, few 14 months by the power of the beat rebound. I love you very much, guys. All right, so let's take a look at where we're at right now. Um... Get down and melty. So what do I? Wait, oh, that's the first one. Okay, I was gonna say. I was like, I seem to be done. Okay, so that's right. Oh God, this was gonna be a thing. This was gonna be a thing. Um. Okay, I need quartz, black quartz, which you get from the beneath. Um. Apparently, I need to dig down and find another area to get quartz because apparently quartz is very, very good actually. Um, Aquamarine, man. Uh, Jerry Lubrano, two months in a row. At, at this, uh, this at two months means it's been one month since I met you at RTX. Aw, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Jerry. All right, so um, crafting materials, or what do I have in there? Okay, I'm going to put my my uh, music stuffs in there. Um, rattle and flute can go in there. Got a lot of baked potatoes. What is this aqua, Aquamarine used for again? Parchment, that's right, parchment. This was a whole thing we need to get. Because uh, parchment is made by all of this stuff. Well, that's a press. Okay, so it was... We're trying to get to uh, parchment. Requires bank, mark, bark from mulberry trees which spawn out in the world. We have that. Uh, Wild Scotsman, have you seen what Ryan is wearing on a stream? It's 10 of 10. I have not. I have not. Uh, Rival Helicopter, at least you aren't wearing a Spider-Man costume today like another member of a cheap hunter. I'm going to go ahead and guess that's Ryan. Uh, Blackbird91, brand new warden by the power of the big rear bonded. Thank you very much. Um, all right, so parchment. So this was a thing. Um, so parchment. So we have the aquamarine, but to get parchment, you have to get washi. Um, washi is from mulberry sheets, which you get mulberry pulp. Which is soaked mulberry bark, which is mulberry bark with a fluid bladder, which is from a saw. A saw has to be powered. <laughs> there is a billion different things that go into this. Um, my lord, rival helicopter by the power of the beard will he the power of the beard will heal us all. Rival helicopter, absolutely. Okay, I had a guide prepped and I forgot all about it so let me go ahead and track that down okay uh, Sevtech age one tips tricks and more uh, stone wall uh -huh. 
storage crates, uh, what you can do now. Let me look for my stuff here. Prospecting automation, the beneath, better with mods, astral sorcery beginnings. This is it. Okay. Um, wait, what? Where, where's the link to it? Where's the link? Uh, Rainmaker here if you need it. Absolutely, I'm going to need it. Okay, so... Um, okay, well... All right, let me find this thing here. I'm looking for... It was... Uh, it's better with mods. After making this... Okay, here we go. This is it. There's my link. Okay. We need, a, we need a better with mod saw to get the bark off mulberry wood. Here's what a mulberry tree looks like. Got it. After making the saw, you'll need to get started on the water wheel, as the hand crank doesn't work on the saw. So I need to make a water wheel, which I think is probably stuff back here, maybe. I think, like, the, the this stuff, the uh, follow my channel, please. That's all water stuff. Transport liquids from tanks and other sources. Place it down the channel. Follow the air on the top right. Right click, change direction, disconnect, pour liquids on the channel. Use normal porcelain faucet. Um, when you're traveling less, use the blood altar, create an apple, and remove step up abilities. Um, if I discover someone apparent, I may. Quartz, okay, axle F, yeah. So we need to, mechanical power needs to be routed using an axle. You can connect them directly to water wheels and windmills or gearboxes. You have no more than three axles between each gearbox or source. So I need, uh, I need axles. So let's start with that. Okay, how do we make an axle? An axle is this. So it is stick, quartz, and then hemp rope, which is hemp fibers, um, which is hemp. So I need hemp now. So I need to keep an eye out for hemp. Okay, so we need to get black quartz. Maybe that's what we'll do right now. Um, we'll get black quartz and go from there. Cyborg72, brand new warden by the power of the beer beer bond. Appreciate you, rival helicopter. What was that, Scotcher? Uh oh, oh god, are you guys fighting again? Y'all be nice. Y'all be nice to each other. Alright, uh, you'll need black horse to make the axles, the water wheel will be after that. Okay, so, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna find my beneath portal. Where did I put my beneath portal? Does anybody remember where I put my beneath portal? Uh, monolith stone. Oh, I think I just put it outside, right? Yeah, there it is, it's right there. There's a creeper. Hey, buddy. What you doing? All right. Oh, that wasn't nearly as smooth as I thought it would be. That makes it where you can't blow up, right? Haha, <laughs> stupid. Stupid. All right, I love, I love you. I, I love you. Kiss the ocelot. Oh wow, there's a big hole right there though. Did something blow up? Jesus. All right, so what do I need to do? I need to take this low because apparently as low as you are, in the actual beneath is uh, or in the outer world is where you come back in on the beneath. So I'm gonna go start. I'm gonna start moving down. I'm gonna take this, go down with it. Okay, uh, Rainmaker. I will keep in mind that you are going to need a very large amount of hemp from here, so you should look into making a large hemp farm as you get going. Okay, so what does hemp look like? And also, do I have any? Let me see if I have any. I like that I built the second floor of this house. I don't use it at all. Uh, ground stuffs, rose bush, lily pad. Manzanita bush. Okay, nothing there. Food. Um, can I just search? Look at that. I got hemp seeds. Boosh. I got hemp seeds already. Alright. I didn't realize I did, but I do. So let me go ahead and go out here. And I have some farmland already sort of worked out. Down here. Uh, I'll probably have a lot more dirt. Okay. Oh, that was dumb. Dumb, you don't jump on dirt, dummy. Okay, well, we'll put it there and get it going. Um, so we'll get that going. Let's we'll start growing. Keep an eye out for other hemp. What does hemp look like, I wonder? Um... Also, let's go in here. Okay, so now we need to get down to the to the area pretty far below. Um, okay, let me make sure I have a bunch of plant fiber. Do I need do that? That and that. Let's get rid of it. Uh, 
crafting mats. I have so much plant twine. So much plant twine. I'll do that just to get. Okay. All right. So now I got a bunch of baked potatoes. That's good. I got some sugar cane, which. Uh, punji sticks. Oh, that's cool. Start doing that. Stage one. This is jump jungle bamboo chime. Okay, what else? I mean, these are all just chimes, I guess. Uh, this is a fisherman strainer. Does not break. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I think I have a net. I got a net somewhere, and I could, I could get a dense net there. Okay, well, I think it was this. Um, do that, and that, that, there, and this, and then this won't break. There we go. Catches fish, junk, and treasures requires bait, requires strainer. Strainer base, that's what I have, right? I assume. Let's see if that's actually what I have down here. So I had a little area over here um, with some stuff. There's my blood altar. So let's go see if that's actually it. Uh, it was down there. There we go. Oh, oh, the strain requires bait. Oh, son of a... Of course, of course it does. What kind of bait? Bear fat, chum, oak fish trap. Worm can be used as bait. All right, garden trowel, bait pot, a net, and a flower pot, which is bricks. I might have that. Okay, we'll deal with it later, though. All right. That was just trying something. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, and head. Let me let me go ahead and grab all my potatoes and stuff over here. I still have all of this wheat. I can't really do much with it yet. Potatoes though rock because potatoes I can cook and get a tasty little treat out of them. I don't think I can do really anything yet with uh, these guys. Beats, Bears, Beats, Battlestar Galactica, Michael. Okay. Um, I'm going to, while I'm over here, I'm going to place some potatoes because potatoes are good. Let's do that. Mm hmm. There, yeah, that's good. Okay. Now then. Is everyone ready? All right. Uh, Chibi Acer, you can click the circle on your character portrait, get the bobbles page, equip your backpack there, and then you can wear chest armor at the same time. Really? So if I do this, is it there? Huh. I'll be damned. Look at that. Do I have it? Can you see it on me? Oh, look at me. I'm wearing my backpack. Thank you very much for that, Chibi Acer. Appreciate you. Potatoes are good. Rival helicopter. Yes, they are. Rival helicopter. Remember, uh, Pungy sticks will hurt you. Yes, they will. TS Tro 14, brand new warden by the power of the Beaver Bonded. Rival helicopter uh, from purple to teal. Must have missed that one. Cyborg 72 by the power of the Beaver Bonded. Appreciate you. Bees 1989, 13 months. Unlucky number 13, but lucky I am a warden. Keep being a goddamn inspiration to us all, Jack. You rock. No, you rock. That's right. You rock by the power of the Beaver Bonded. Um, Cats Corp Gaming, brand new warden right there. Um,. By the power of the Beaver Bond, appreciate you. Okay, um, going for number one on the list while it's cheap. Oh, Scotcher, thank you very much for that. And then Rival Helicopter said, what was that, Scotcher? I get it. You guys are fighting. I love it. I love it. All right. So here we go. Oh, here's all my... You guys want to see my... I got a few buffalo. All right, let's go put these potatoes on. We're getting them cooking up. Do that. There we go. All right. So what don't I need? Um, crafting mats can go in there. I'm gonna put this aquamarine. That's a fancy one. I'm gonna hold on to that. That's like a current thing I'm dealing with. Um, foodstuffs. I think seeds go in foodstuffs, right? Beetroot seeds. Carrots. Can you cook carrots? Can you can make a golden carrot? Kebab. Hmm, blue carrot. Interesting. Biomash. 
What is biomass used for fertilizer? Interesting. Okay. Uh, beetroots. Baked beetroot. Okay, we'll throw those in there as well. I got one already. How, how is it? Can't eat it yet. Um, got a flint work blade. Don't really need that. This stuff's all important to carry with me. Shears. I'll put away. Uh, this is kind of my current. Oh, this is my scythe. That thing was awesome. All right. Put that away. Flints. Coal. Ha ha ha. Oh, charcoal. Okay, so do that, that. Hold a couple rocks of me. My atlas got to hang on to. Wild berries are always good. String can go away as well. Uh, torches are good. Do I have any sticks? Uh, no. Have any sticks in my backpack? No. All right, do that. I'll hold on to those. All right, I think we're actually doing pretty good. I think... Of course, now that I need this, do this. And we'll, just, we'll go ahead and polish off everything, make it all back to uh, back to good. And that, all right. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about this, so we'll go ahead and, and head on down to the beneath and grab us some, uh, what is it, nether quartz? These are, these are our mulberry trees, dark oak. I planted some mulberry trees. Are these the these mulberries? No, that's just oak. This is fat oaks. These are mulberry. Here they are. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I uh, I dug down four for uh, for this guy to find this stuff. So let's go ahead and go this way. Ow. Just get lower. How is that lit? No, oh, there's a torch. Okay. If I remember, bad stuff was down there. All right, so let's do get my stuff aligned. I usually do that. Knock out some of this. All right. And so, how do you um? So how how again do you go to the dark? Do you have to, like shift right click on it or something? All right. I'm gonna place this here. There we go. Shift sneak on your, your grave. Okay, cool. Uh, looks like there's some hemp growing next to your mulberry trees. Oh, sweet, I'll go check that out. All right. All right, excellent, here we are. Well, this is good, we're on ground. So we found a nice open area. Instead of the crap we were dealing with before. Okay. All right. So now we're looking for uh, nether quartz. That zombie has a buttload of health. I realize something could be behind me. And so there are no... Um, Oh man, oh look how much armor he dropped. Thanks, buddy. Look at me, I'm full leather now, yo. Okay. There's some mushrooms over here. Alright. So we're looking for this stuff. Right? Black quartz ore. We need lots of it. He's got a sword. He's got a knife. The Cunning Fox. 15 months for the Cunning Fox. Thank you very much, Cunning Fox. By the power of the beard, rear bond. Appreciate you. Uh, Rival Helicopter says, Cast and Pack Monster Forever. Aw, that's so sweet. Uh, Bigfoot, <laughs> King Flint Cole, you called. Nice, well done. Brace 69, three months in a row. Three months well spent. Just caught up with the series on YouTube. By the power of the buffalo, we are bonded by the power of the beard, rear bonded too. Um... One crazy eye, one when a sheep hunter does a Super Bowl prediction game in January. One team gets Tyler, one keeps gets Mia. Maybe, maybe. Uh, Jeebus Christ, 12 months in a row. Happy one year by the power of the beard. We're bonded. Um, rival helicopter, potatoes are good. All right, we're back to there. Okay, good, good, good. So here we go. Let's find 
more quartz. There we go. Oh, look. Up there is where I came from. That's where I was before. You can see it's all lit up, and here's all the stone that I got knocked that knocked down. What was that noise? I don't know if I like that noise at all. Okay. Almost do that. Excellent. Lots of quartz. And so also apparently you can make a an a core a black quartz AOT, A I O T. Um which I will most definitely do once I get the chance. Because A I O T is that that spider making that noise? Oh, hey buddy. Ow. Alright, kill the spider. What the, uh... What the hell was that? That was terrifying. Um... Oh, there's something over there. You see that? It's a shadow. He vanished. Holy crap. Well, that was absolutely the worst thing ever. My god. Um, all right. <laughs> Rival helicopter. Sorry, it's just buffalo, 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 buffalo. Um, T.S. Tiro, uh, just want to say thank you for what you do and you help me stay sane to my last year of college. Best of luck to you, T.S. Tiro. Rival helicopter, page semi-protected, listen to this article, Buffalo, 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 okay. There's a, oh yeah, yep. Rival helicopter, yes. I know all about the Buffalo. Uh, well, there's actually a, uh, I think there's actually a, um, a sign for a red where someone said that. Oh, okay. So there are creepers down here. Oh, I, that shadow thing just threw something at me again. I saw it. I don't like those. They're terrifying. Okay. So how much quartz should I be getting right now? Like, what what's a good amount of quartz I should be aiming for? I mean, once I kill the zombie... Oh, crap. Right, there's a bunch of them. All right. Let's just let's just keep moving. Oh, Jesus. Mmm. Come on now. I don't like that at all. That's not vanilla Minecraft. This one's got a sword. Gusta. All right, pants, pants, uh, it's a tunic, a little bit better, a helmet, that one's toast anyway, that one's good. All right, Ch Jesus, that scared the hell out of me, you guys. All right, I'm going to get some of these mushrooms, just because that's something I don't have yet. I'm sure they'll come in handy somehow. All right. Uh, TSTRO, thank you very much. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. That's awful kind of you. Um, Rebel Helicopter today, Jack plays Minecraft Jump Scare Edition. No kidding, dude. No kidding. Uh, is it spamming if I use bits? Rebel Helicopter, not at all. Sorry, it's just Buffalo, 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 Buffalo. There you go. You know, you can throw stones for low damage range weapons. Gosh, I did not know that. Probably should have been doing that, though. All right, how many of these things? I have 14. That seems like not nearly enough. 
Well, there's more right there in front of me. I got distracted by the creepiness. I think I need 11 for an AI AIOT. What the hell was that noise? Oh, there I, I saw that. There you are. Can you not kill those things? They just terrify you? Oh, that's a bull. Oh. All right. Let's see if we see more. There's a creeper up there. I still got quite a few torches, so this is good. Hey, buddy. Ow. 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 Okay. Alright, we're just looking for black quartz. There's some rocks. There's some water. Interesting. Whoa, TSCRO, thank you very much for that. Um, uh, if I do enough bits, will you run for presidents? I don't know. It'd have to be a lot of bits, man. <laughs> um, and also, I don't know if, I don't know if people would want me as president, to be honest. I have some radical thinking, like, you know, everyone deserves health care and whatnot. That's pretty rad. All right, here we go. Rival helicopter, uh, top from top bits. <laughs> Rebel Helicopter, thank you very much. You guys are fighting. Oh, hey, buddy. Uh, I need a stronger weapon. I need a weapon. Okay. There's a lot over there. Ooh. Are you gonna give me some good armor? I don't. I don't like that I'm in the shadow there. The creepy hand thing's gonna poke out again. All right, I got a new helmet. This one's stronger. That's .45. That's just one. But this is almost gone. Of course, I threw away the other wolf helmet. I could have probably linked them together. Okay, there's a little bit more. Okay. Let's keep moving. So the portal's back over there where I came in. Oh, crap. There we go. Whoa! Did you have a sword? Alright. this a little bit. Okay. Pack. Now I'm just murdering monsters. All I do is murdering. Oh yeah, I got some new swords. Do that. Let's go ahead and do this and until it caps out. There we go. I got some new boots. Make those nicer. A new helm. I uh, got a new chest piece as well. Okay, we got 24. I would love to go for like a stack, but I don't know, man. This is getting a little, a little sketchy here. Still freaking out about what that, whatever the hell that thing was. All right, only got three torches left. Oh, I hear doot doot. Where's he at? There he is. Play me a song, you're the doot doot man. Play us a song tonight. We're all in the. Oh, you're dead. For a melody. You got us feeling all right. Ba 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 na na na. 
Ah. And a little bit more here. I know I'm getting hurt. That's okay. Got 32. We got half stack here. Okay, I'm I'm okay with half stack. Okay, this is good because we'll take this back. I'm not entirely sure what I need to do with this. Hey, Radman RT, I see that. Give me two seconds out. Let me give me two seconds to get out of here. There's different kinds of mushrooms. Oh god, there's a bunch of them. All right, there's my thing. There's a spider over there. There we go. And we're out. All right, beautiful. Oh, Radman RT, can you tell me the story about how you and Katie met and possibly plans in the future? Um, plans in the future? Would love to know. Not not entirely sure what you mean by plans in the future. Um, we actually met through Rooster Teeth. Um, she was she created the uh, the largest fan group on the planet. Um, uh, Roo uh, Teeth. Which is uh, the Australian fan group. So Katie was the uh, the brainchild behind that, and uh, I met her through just through online, and we you know we became buddies. And then um, is this hemp? Are you hemp? These are rushes. Rushes. Are these yeah, these are all rushes. Whatever that is. Not hemp. Not hemp. Rushes. Rushes. Uh, yeah. So we we met we made friends online. And then uh, she came over to Austin for RTX, and we we're like, oh, you're pretty cool. And and then I went over for, a I mean, she came over a few times for various conventions. I went over for a couple, and uh, back and forth. And, yeah, we were friends. She had a boyfriend, I had a girlfriend. And then it all worked out in the long run. So we were much better off with each other, I suppose, than anyone else. Rushes to brushes, absolutely. Uh, Radman RC, by the way, by the power of the Beard Rear Bond. Appreciate you. Rival Helicopter Helm or Helm's Deep? Ha! <laughs> Second alarm, three months by the power of the beard we were bonded. All right, uh, rival helicopter. Can we say that zombie was still in the air? We could, we could. Uh, Almighty hail, Jeff, for watching Sky Factory when I saw you were streaming. Good to watch you all playing Sky Factory Three. I love Sky Factory Three, and um, and I'm pumped that uh, that uh, Bacon is working on the new one. He's working on four. All right, so here we go. We've got this stuff. So we got black quartz ore. Do I need I need to Millstone it. I can just craft it into a facade. Crusher. I don't have a crusher. So I guess we're grinding it. Alright, so we're grinding it times two. Alright, so let's go ahead and take it over to our Buffalo, 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 Buffalo. Alright, let's get in here. So many Buffalo. There's so many of you bastards. Alright. Eat some berries. That's good. What the hell? That was weird. What's up? Um. Excuse me. I need to I need to get through my door. That was weird. There was a ghost. All right. So I'm going to take one of these. Put them on here. Oh wait, this is okay, that's a press. So so Oh. Oh no. Okay, on here. Okay, so of course I took out all the things. Damn it. All right, let me see if I can there's some planks. Let me see if I can make a, a hopper, a couple hoppers real quick. So we'll do this. Two of those. And then a hopper. I can just do that one. It's that. And that. And there we go. All right. That's our setup for our auto feeding hopper. All right, so I'll do this. 
one, two, three. And then we're going to say hopper. I don't know if this will work or not, but put that there. And then this. Uh, we'll, yeah, we'll break this primal crap chest. It's weird that, that one's up higher, but whatever. Um, and then we'll put down uh, our our chest. Put it there. Put this hopper like that. And then like there. Okay, so now there we go. Look at that. I'm learning, you guys. I'm learning auto hopper automation. I'm assuming this is gonna work. There we go. Crush black quartz. Beautiful. Okay. That's going. Let's go upstairs and fill in that uh that little thing there. We actually should probably get another buffalo in here. This guy really wants to volunteer, so we'll figure that out here in a little bit. All right. Give me. All right. Um some dirt up in here. And there we are. Come up here on Buffalo. And we'll say one, two, three, four, five. Bump, 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 bump. Bump. Bump, bump, bump. bump. And then we'll go like so. And then. There we are. Beautiful. Excellent. Sir Sweets TM by the power of the rear bonnet. Thank you very much. Scotcher, don't use the quartz on an AIOT. Save for axles and gearboxes for a water wheel. Okay. Zenstroke, 20 months, 20 already. Man, time flies. It's always nice watching the stream. Thank you very much, Zenstroke. By the power of the rear bonnet. Appreciate you. Bionic Fox, three months in a row. What game are you most excited for in the next couple months? Oh, God, there's so many good ones, man. I mean, I would say. Probably Red Dead 2. Red Dead 2 would be mine. Um, hey, TSTRO, thank you very much. Holy crap. I joined to make a good impression on our future Mr. President. <laughs> thank you very much for that. All right, sun's going down. That's the night that the sun went down in Georgia. Okay. And how many... I have a few sticks. I can do that. At least one. Um, all right. Bedtime. Nappy nap. Okay, so we got our black quartz. Ooh. So black quartz. Find black quartz. Okay, so we got uh, black quartz. So here we go. So black quartz ore. We're doing it to crush black quartz. So we're getting crushed black quartz. So crushed black quartz, you cook, and it gets you black quartz. Okay. Or an alloy kiln. Don't have that yet. Arc furnace, stone grill. So yeah, okay, good. I can just throw it in my stone grill over there. My automated one. Uh-huh. More baked potatoes, baked potatoes. Ooh, clay. There was something for three bricks, right? It was the um the pot. Because then this makes a bait pot. So it makes bait more efficient. So it makes bait and fish strain more efficient. Bait is 50% chance not to be consumed as long as bait pot present in strainer base. Oh, okay. I see. So you still need bait. So you still, this just helps the bait. All right. Let's go over there and take a look at what we got. My guess is love. Love is what I got. Let's go see if our hemp's up there too. Is that hemp up there? Is that a hemp? Is this a hemp? Let's see if it's growing over here. Eh. I think that might be hemp actually. Let's go, let's go up there and go get it. Uh black quartz ore, black quartz dust slash powder in the grinder, compactor to make quartz. Right, right, right. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. That might be hemp. 
Okay. Uh, let's come around here. Is there any? No, there's no easy way to get up there. Okay, perfect. Let's do this. Let's get a bunch of dirt. And we'll climb our way up. All right. It's up there somewhere, so... Where was it? There it is. Are you hemp? Oh, look at you. You're hemp. Oh, good for you. Hemp seeds. Okay, these are mature. All right. Um, if I just break that. There we go. Look at that. I got two hemp. And I got some beetroot seeds. There's some more hemp seeds there. Beautiful. Okay. All right. So it's the green vine looking thing. So we'll keep an eye out for more of that stuff because I'm gonna need, apparently I'm going to need a lot of it. Um, okay. Good, good, good. We'll go plant a bit more hemp. Fish. Hello, fish. So many fish. So many fish. Fish, 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 fish. Hello, fish. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and... and so what the hell? Do this. Okay, so there's one hemp. Um, where are my hemp seeds? There they are. I'll do that and that. Okay. Let's get in here. How goes the crushing? 25. Beautiful. How many more left? Oh, that's the last one. All right. We'll wait for you to finish. Do you like Do you like this? No. Okay. Rival Helicopter Jack is currently at 886,834 subs on YouTube. Make sure you sub over there. We get to 100,000. I believe in all of you. Look at you. Rival Helicopter. Thank you very much. Yes, Rival's pointing out. I currently have 86,834 subs over here on... Um, on youtube.com slash Jack Patillo. You can see all my archives and everything over there. Go check it out. It'd be really cool. I'm trying to get to 100,000 before the end of the year. It's got to be very tough, but I believe in you. I think we can do it. How many are on there? I thought it was going to be done. Okay, let's, let's, we'll take this. Um, Tanith Ghost 88 just dropped by to say hi. Let's go back to Destiny 2. Any word on more Ox episodes? Funny you should mention that. Um, Tyler actually talked to me about an Ox thing today, so... Yes, there will be more ox. Theater mode ox. Coming to a theater mode near you at some point. All right, so let's go chuck this on our thing, make some black quartz. I'll do that. There we go. Look at it going. Wait for it. There it is. Um... Boosh. Yay! Par for the quartz. Look at that. We completed this right here. So, axles now. So, an axle. Well, let's, let's, okay, let's, let's clear out some of my, my stuff here. I got, I got way too much stuff. Okay, that, that. Uh, uh, potato, you can come. Beetroot, you can come. I'm going to throw you guys up in here. I also don't know if Rotten Flesh cooks, but we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, seeds, that. Okay, my hemp. We're gonna leave the hemp in here. Whoa. Well, that's kind of cool. I don't know who did that, but all right. Got hemp in there. Throw mushrooms in there too. Why not? That's probably important. Sugar canes, you go in there too. Um, crafting mats. Let's throw our clay in there. Limestone. Don't know what I need to do with that, but whatever. Um, I really need to, like a trash pit. I wish I can I make a trash can yet? Nope. Okay. Okay, so let's see what we can do with this black quartz. We can make a block of black quartz. We can make a pillar of black quartz. Advanced ESD, excellent spaghetti dessert. <laughs> what? Rebel Helicopter, Jenna uh, Day has a request. Jenna Day, what's your request? Um, 
I sent you 100 bits to see this and you still miss it. Oh my god, I zero luck on stream. So Ryan on stream just asked to recreate the street dancing scene from Spider-Man and he wants the wants to wants to other wants to other to do it with him as an extra life goal. Will you think uh will you do it with him? I'd be up for that. If Ryan wants to do the Spider-Man dance, I would I'd be up for that. We can do that. All right. So here we go. Black Horse Sword. But I can I can make an AIOT. And this right here, wooden axle. That's what I need to make. So sticks, I can get hemp rope though. I need hemp fibers. Oak sapling. Oh. Okay. Hemp rope. It's hemp fiber. I'm just going back and forth now. Okay, where do I get hemp rope from? Makes hemp cloth. Wait, is it R? Y? I? Damn it. Spindle, hemp fibers, makes it, no, okay. All right, I have some hemp. All right, a millstone makes hemp fibers, okay. So there we go. So we'll do this. Good thing I have a millstone. Uh, sorry, Jenna I'm sorry, I missed you. I missed your thing. Uh, oh, there it was. Wait, no, no. Oh, there it was. Okay, uh, yeah. So sorry, I don't know where I was before, Jenna I apologize for that. I feel terrible. Okay, got six hemp fibers, and so now with this. Bundle, I can't, oh, so you just bundle stuff together with that. All right. So six makes one hemp rope. And with a hemp rope, I can make a wooden axle. I need two hemp ropes to make a wooden axle. Oh. Right, okay. Uh, Scotcher, did you see Smart Everyday's video from the launch tower for Delta Four? What a great video. I have not. I need to check that out. That's pretty rad, though. You have a trash can, it's dark. Uh, it's called the Darkosto Traposto. Oh, this thing. Can I throw can I throw things in there? Will it, will it get trashed? So if I throw stuff at this, if I throw like this wolf hood. Oh, eat it. Nom, 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 nom. Perfect. All right. Spider eye, probably don't need. Primal chest, go ahead and toss that as well. Crap load of plant fibers, don't need you. I think the rest I can hold on to for now, though. All right, cool. I didn't realize that thing ate stuff. That's super convenient. I should get one from, from my basement. All right. Um, got a lot of black quartz now, so let's go ahead and throw you up in there. Uh, Rebel Helicopter, Cyan says you are a QT. Aw, Cyan, that's so nice of you. Doc Rizendez, by the power of the beer, we're a brand new warden. Okay. Okay, so. Jack, can you please break the stick on the top of the crafting table? It's driving me nuts. There you go. I didn't realize that was a stick there. That also was driving me nuts. Yar. All right. We'll use that. Do that. Okay, there we go. Good, good, good. Um, Trickstress. For two months, yay, two months. Thank you, Trickstress, by the power of the beer, beer bond. Appreciate you. Okay. So then. I guess it's time to go hunt for, uh, for hemp. I gotta, I gotta find a bunch of hemp. So we'll go to the hemp fields. We'll start looking around for hemp. With the uh, the horse, I suppose. Can I? There we go. All right, horsey, we're looking for hemp. Keep an eye out for hemp. There's some. Yaha! We found some. Good job, horsey. I uh, got two hemp's already. Beautiful. More hemp. Hi ho, hemp horse. Ho way. 
Okay, some carrots. Oh. I'm gonna eat this in front of the horse, make him feel bad. Oh, that's weird. Can I not? There he goes. Oh, is that hemp? Oh, that is hemp. This is also hemp. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, let's bring this down here so we can see how many hemp's we have. We have three and three. There's, there's more hemp's than I thought. I thought it, hemp finding was going to be a little bit trickier. Knock on wood. I'm not going to find any more again, I bet. Oh, there we go. There's some more. Hemp. Hemp. Okay. Hemp. Hemp. Alright, we're just gonna move it all over to our farm because we're gonna need a lot of it. From what I from what I have gathered. Malachite. Okay. The hemp farms. Rival helicopter not gonna find any more, instantly finds more. That's true. King Flint Cole, you can use bone meal on the hemp you have now to get more. Ooh. Good call, I can do that. All right, we'll do a little bit more hemp hunting. There's some in front of me here. And then we'll uh, we'll, we'll go and use bone meal on the stuff I have to make it up, make it go faster. Um, can I do a big loop around here? Did I step over some? No. Hemp. I like the idea of sidestepping on the horse because the way the horse is going to be sliding back and forth, just it just tickles me. That makes me laugh to think, what is that horse doing? That crazy horse. And we got 12 hemp's. We're rich in hemp's. Okay. Oh, yeah. There's that, down in that area is that weird. I think we got the aquamarine down there. Some really cool stuff. Check out, if you haven't watched the last couple episodes, youtube.com slash Jack Patillo. Trying to get over 100,000 subs. That'd be huge and awesome. All right. I'm running a little hemp low now. There's carrots. All right. I think we got a decent amount now. We'll take it back. Oh, there we go. 14. There's some more here. Beautiful. Look at that. Man, this is close to my house. Perfect. Okay. Hey, TSTRO, thank you very much for that. Awful nice of you. All right, let me put my horse away. And we'll go play with the hemp. All right, and hey, there you go. All right, CSTRO. Unfortunately, I have to call it a night here since I have to be at work in six hours. But I wanted to think. I wanted to throw my last bits your way, Jack. See you next time. Thank you very much, TSTRO. You get some rest, and we'll see, and you have fun at work too. I hope you have yourself a wonderful, wonderful day. Okay, let's get on here. Oh, we caught an octopus, you guys. Okay. All right. All right, let's go get some bone meal now. Which I think, I forget how you get that. Uh, good night, TSTRO, says Rival Helicopter. Very kind. Uh, hemp grows in stocks like sugar cane. You plant a totem ceremony, fast grow. Just chop it off repeatedly. Ooh, I like that. Chibi Acer, thank you for the heads up. Maybe we'll make... We got plenty of the uh, the redwood stuff, so maybe we'll do that. We'll make a little ceremony. And, of course, I've got none of the raw stuff left. Right? Perfect. It's the uh, red cedar plank, so I need more red cedars. There's a sapling right there. I think I have some outside, so I can go. I'm pretty sure I got it. Olives. Okay, so... Um... Crafting mats. Bone meal. I got a bunch of bone meal. So bone meal is just... Is that just bones in a grinder? Is that how you do it? Ooh. Unfamiliar item. Uh, millstone. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Makes a bunch of them. Okay. Let's do this. 
we'll just get that. Uh, Mr. Faulty, hey Jack, just finished up summer term, couldn't ask for a better streamer to watch, close out the day. Hey, Mr. Faulty, thank you very much. 23 months in a row for that. Gentlemen, by the power of the beer, beer bond, appreciate you. Scotcher, can you get Katie's stream on to teach us some American Sign Language? Scotcher, absolutely. Um, I actually, I talked to Katie, I have some ideas of what maybe she can do with that. Regular wood totems are fine, chimes and flute for a plant version of Buffalo Love. Okay. Wait, so you can do... I thought you had to have the, uh... That special kind of redwood in order to make... A totem. Like the totem base and everything? Was that not the case? Alright, so one... Two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, there it is, alright. Alright, we got a whole crap load of bone meal, so let's go out here and use all this first. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, see, I thought I had to... I guess not. Uh, Finny Ku... Fin... Uh, Finn Kusu. Finn Kusu? Finn Kusu, by the power of the beer bottom. Brand new warden right there. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, this is easy. All right. So is it like, uh, is it like, uh, um, what is it, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Sugar cane, where if you just break the top, it'll quickly regrow? Or should you just go ahead and break it all the way down to the bottom? Oops, something splashed. Like, should I do it like that, or should I go ahead and just break it all the way down, like, to the very bottom? Red Cedar makes the song easier to finish. You don't need it, but it helps the harder songs. Oh, okay. Like Sugar King, so should I leave that right there? And let them let them just grow the, the second stock, or... Or should I go ahead and um, actually just break it all the way? What do you guys think? I got 12 more hemp seeds, by the way. All right. A um, whole lot of dirt I can lay down. Oh. Three. Oh, of course. Three. Mm -hmm. There we go. And of course, I don't have a hoe on me. Faux show. Oh, wait. Is this it? Nope, wrong one. Okay. Um, Scotch says, like sugarcane. Okay. Uh, worth the sub to see you struggle with my username. <laughs> fin Finkusu, sorry about that. Red Cedar makes songs easier to finish. Like sugarcane, like sugarcane, not it's good. Break only the top grows back faster that way. Okay. Okay, we'll do that. We'll just keep only the top. Or we'll keep the top uh, not broken down. All right, a lot of hemp. And then do... All right. Well, then... There. Okay. One, two, three. Three. Three, one. Two. Oh. All right, we're out. But we got a whole bunch of hemp. Bunch of hemp seeds now. Okay, beautiful. So we got a bunch of that crap. So we got lots and lots. Oh, I got more seeds. Oh, screw it. Okay, we'll deal with that later. All right, before night falls, let me go ahead and get some sleep. We're progressing pretty well, you guys. I'm pretty happy with how things are going. Okay. 
Oh, Vagabooty, 28 months in a row for Vagabooty. Thank you very much, Vagabooty, by the power of the beer, beer bond. Appreciate you. Vagabooty is so sweety, says a rival helicopter. All right. Um, that does irk me a little bit. I swear I had more of that raw wood, but I guess maybe I just I chopped it all up. And there's some right there. Um, I'll go ahead and plant a new one. And it was it. Uh, if you hit this, okay. If you hit it with with the knacks, you get more seeds and stuff. I think. How many do I have? I have one. Okay, so maybe that's not the case. I thought that was the case. Let's try shovel. No. Pickaxe? No. Sh stone sword? How about open hand? I don't know if there's a trick to getting more more of these things. Uh, Honest Dave, 18 months in a row by the power of the beer beer pond. I appreciate you, Honest Dave. Um, Alright, screw it. We'll, just, we'll go with that. This is quicker, at least. Alright, let's just start chopping this thing down. Give me a wood. Give me a woods. Wow, that thing. There's a lot of wood up there. Um, I'll do this. And then there. There it goes. Now it's all coming down. Okay. And there's another one. We got four now. Already planted that one. Okay, so let's go ahead and plant a few more of these guys. Dark oak. There. 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 And there. We'll line the water with it. Okay. So we're doing good. We got our... We got a bunch of hemp. All right, so let's go down here and play around with our hemp. Let's go to our basement with the hemp. Seems about right. Seems about right. Okay, so uh, I need to now millstone it up. Oh. So I'm assuming I'm going to have something that'll allow me to do that. If you make a, a tree scythe, it'll make pruning trees a lot faster. Oh, that's kind of cool. I didn't know there was a tree scythe. So, uh, yeah. Anyway. All right. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, hey, buddy. So this is the newest member of our family. One of one of two. This right here. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? This is Coop. He's a little, he's a little cutie. Hi, Coop. How are you doing? You haven't been up here before. Are you curious? Oh, where are you going? Right. Ow. So, oh, okay. Okay, you're all right, buddy. So, kittens have uh, very sharp claws. And if you can see his hand... Can I move him? Uh, probably not. I can hold it up. I can hold him up to it. Ow. You can see his paws. They're actually... He has seven toes on his front two paws. So, he's 14 fingers on his front two feet. There's so many toes. He's got, he's got bonus, bonus toes. So, this is Coop. And then Reamer's downstairs. Okay. Oh. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? And he likes cuddling. See? Can you hear him? I don't know if y'all can hear him purring. No. Hey, buddy. Are you, are you going to be a good internet cat? Are you going to be a good internet cat? Are you going to get us lots of subs and likes and everything? <laughs> Wave to the people. Oh, see rival helicopter. New emote for new cat? Perhaps. Hey, buddy. See, you already made a dollar. Look at that. You're good. You're worth it. You were worth it. But yeah, this is so this is this is Coop. He's super super chill and he purrs very very loudly. Are you excited? Are you having fun? Are you hanging out with mom? Were you bored and so you came up here? Hmm. Oh, okay. God, oh, he's purring so loud. Oh, yeah. oh. There we go. Uh, Coop or Coop? It's C O O P as in like Cooper. He's just, he's just hanging out. Oh. <laughs> uh, there he is. Yeah, he just relaxes. He's chill. 
chills. He chills. He, 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 like, so he likes being held. He does. He'll like, you should tell him how he like reaches up at you like he wants to be picked yeah. up. Yeah. So Coop, so he's super friendly. So when you reach down for him, he'll actually like lean on his back feet and reach up for you so you can pick him, up. pick him up. Yeah, he's a sweetheart. Not like Cooper Trooper. No, 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 no. Like Rival Helicopter is like like Coop and Reamer from Basketball, which is one of our favorite movies. And so it's it's Joseph R. Cooper and and Doug Reamer. So this is Joseph R. Cooper. Doug Patillo. Don't care about kids. <laughs> I want to die. He's so cute. It's a cyan stardust. Let me, let me no, he's getting lots of love. Oh, look, Emma's on top of you. And so Emma Emma's already friends with the kitties. She's met both of them, and she's already buddies with them. So Reamer's a big fan. Of of uh, of Emma, he but her we introduced uh, we introduced Ellie to the cats. Didn't go so hot, not yet, not yet. But we're working on it. So he's super lazy, and he doesn't like to support his own head. Yeah. So right now I'm supporting his head. Katie's he's just like nah. Katie's holding him up. Yeah. All right. So Scotcher just gave five gift subs away. Thank you very much, Scotcher, for that. Victor fourteen four uh, one fourteen fourteen one C Dog seven one eight. I thought you might be able to see him. You can't. Nope. <laughs> C-Dog 718, Swift Vengeance, uh, Preeminent Bunny, and Holly Stromboli. Thank you very much, by the power of the beer rebond. And also, Virus Elite 524, 27 months in a row. That's <laughs> almost double the amount of toes this little kitty has. So this kitty. All right, I submit Coop, it shall be. Oh, Rival Helicopter, thank you very much. Yeah, he's just... Hey, buddy, right how are you? No. What? Oh, you want my glasses? Yeah, he, this morning I was putting on my socks. He's too trusting. I was putting on my socks, and he jumped on my back before I had my shirt on. Oh, that hurt. Where are you going, buddy? All right. All right. All right. Say bye, Coop. He's oh. like, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're not holding me like you should be. Uh, song Slingers. Damn you, Jack. I want two more kitties, too. He's adorable. He's a cutie. All right. Bye, bye he Coop. He just keeps putting his head on my hand, and I feel like I'm choking him. <laughs> All right, Reamer's probably freaking out right now. Or is Emma in there with him? No, but Ellie. I just heard Ellie crying, so I may have to pass her on the stairs. Uh-oh. All right, well, there we go. So that's Coop. Rival Helicopter says, Katie teaches some ASL? Oh, uh, Maybe when she gets back. back. All right, she's bringing a cat. Maybe when she comes back, she'll teach you some ASL. All right. So let's come over here and get our hemp rope, so we'll keep doing this. Um, Pockers. <laughs> yeah, he has so many, so many toes. It's super adorable. So am I going to get a millstone? Um, will I be able to automate this at some point, I'm hoping? Because this is annoying and it eats up all my stuff. Um, baked potato. Let's eat that as I'm, as I'm milling it up. That ASL. <laughs> How can we go back to Minecraft after that? It's true. Uh, yes, the items you're making right now allow you to automate the millstone. Sweet, with axles. Okay, good, good, good. So I don't know how much hemp I need. Hemp fibers I need. Um, I needed six per bundle, right? Third track check, I left and came back. It was this adorable one. That was Coop. That was Coop. Let's keep doing this for a little bit. You can okay. You can power the millstone with the water wheel you're about to make. All right, Rainmaker, that is good to hear. Because I'm gonna make a water wheel and an axle, and then I need a gearbox or something. Two bundles per axle. Twelve hemp per axle. Okay, hemp. Okay, yeah. Uh, enough to su satisfy Snoop Dogg for five minutes. <laughs> it's true. All right, so we're getting three at a time. Uh, so 12, so f 12, 24, 36. So we'll get up to, we'll get 48. So we'll do another two of them. All right, but real quick, this is Doug Reamer. Hey, Doug Reamer. Oh, he's also purring. Yeah, they're always purring. Hey, hey, Doug. So this is Reamer. So Coop and Reamer. Oh, he's not he's not as cuddly as as Coop. Catch him. Oh, how are you going, buddy? So this is him. He's a sweetheart too. 
But yeah, he's definitely more brave and more curious. He's already looking at stuff to jump on. He's got stripes and spots, his little belly spots. You can see his little belly spots. And he's got stripes on his side. He's a cutie. Aren't you a cutie? So soft. He's a softie. But he he's definitely he uh he was the last of his litter to be adopted. So loud. And he's super, super loud. So Katie found him and he was just screaming because he was the only one by himself. So she took him out and played with him. Well, he was fine he was fine at first. I was like, Oh, what a cute patootie, he's so sweet. And I went in, he was sleeping, and I was like, Oh, I'd like to play with this one. So Kat Dooley came with me and she was helping. And uh, and so we got him out, and you know I was playing with him and petting him, and he was really sweet. He was like kind of like I want to get out of this place and sort of you know trying to get away a little bit. But he was soft and he was gentle and he was cute. But when we put him back and we walked away, he was yelling, and I don't mean like meowing. I mean he's going. Rah, rah, yeah, he rah. makes makes a weird death wail noise. So we walked to the other end of the facility, and we could still hear him screaming. And so I went. I'm not getting that cat. And then, like, ten minutes later, I went back, and I was like, I have to get this cat. <laughs> so. But he's a cutie. He's got, like, these weird, t like, tear ducts on his face. Like, I don't even see it here, but he's got those little stripes. Oh, it looks like he's... Face. It's almost like he's, like, crying, but it's actually just his fur where he's got those weird stripes down his nose. Oh. <laughs> so, it's, it's really neat. I've never seen a cat with that before. And I haven't had many gray cats, so this is kind of cool. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted a tabby or whatever this is, which is weird. I know he kind of looks like Ellie. When I first pulled him out, I, I kept calling him Blue because I think that when he moves, his color looks blue. Uh, also, his nickname is Ghost because oh, yeah. he, he teleports and he moves and you, you don't know. Like one second he'll be somewhere and literally the next second it seems like he's com somewhere completely different because he doesn't make any noise when he moves and he moves so fast. He's being very chill right now. This is very unlike Reamer. Are you so chill right now? He's probably really warm. Yeah. Dancing. No, hey buddy. <laughs> so this is Doug Reamer, and then Joseph R. Cooper is downstairs. Which, if you haven't seen basketball, go watch basketball immediately. It's awesome. Such a good movie. So two new kittens. How many cats now? This is the, the, so. This is number three. So we have yeah. You know, Ellie's still around. She's still upset. She's not a huge fan of the you new know, kittens I just yet. Went downstairs. I had the I had him in my arm, and I put my hand on Ellie came up and she sniffed my hand and she like like went up like this and she sniffed my hand and I was like maybe she can't see that I'm holding a cat and so I wiggled him around I'm like maybe Ellie's blind after all this time she's blind and I wiggled him around and she was watching him so she knew he was in my okay, arm okay so she, yeah okay Doug calm that reamer yeah Doug re reamer talking uh, about kids. censored censored oh was it his butt yeah what. Are you a loud boy? So anyway, we got we got two. Katie got two boys. I thought we were gonna get a pair of like a boy and a girl, but Katie went and got two boys. Oh, look at those face. No, look at that little face, little mushy face. Look at those little hands. Right here, look right here, buddy. <laughs> there he goes. So, yeah, he's he's got a he's got a little face and big ears. It's really cute. But we think they're both gonna be big boys. Yeah. For some reason, he smells. Like, he just stinks. <laughs> but the other one, I don't know. The other one's fine. Also, they pooped in your sink. They so pooped I in the sink? the last 10 minutes scrubbing that. <laughs> How'd they do that? So, the bathroom door was closed. Oh. And, like, but they could have pushed it, but I don't think they knew they could push oh. it. Oh. So, I think that was my Did fault. you poop in my sink? Because <laughs> I was like, mm. He's so chill right now. He's super chill. How are you so chill? Is he excited to be out in the open? Yeah, he's just really cool. <laughs> Give you a kiss. All right. Well, Reamer, say good night. Say bye. <laughs> oh. All right. Smooch the kitty, I demand. That's what someone says. <laughs> what are you doing? Such weirdos. Sure. Yeah. All right. Katie's gonna teach you a few words in sign language, real quick. <laughs> teach you that will help um I don't know I mean what if, you, if someone was to say I want to learn something sign language what would say that would be the first say thing? I am learning sign language okay uh, I am learning American sign language okay uh what was that Ellie oh 
Oh, we'll oh there's to... Ellie right there. Ellie. Can I hand? Ellie, do you want to come say hi to Reamer? I forget how orange she is. Ellie. Oh, oh Doug, calm down. Ellie. Oh. oh, now she sees him. She's made. Oh, and she's hissing. I'll come back. Okay, Katie will come back. Ellie, it's okay. Well, let me get him out of here. Ellie. Ellie. Well, let me leave. <laughs> One of us can stay. Ellie, Ellie, come here. Unless she's just following you in front of you. All right. Back to it. <laughs> so the, the joys of owning a kitty cat. Hey, Alexander Reed, two months in a row. Thank you very much, Alexander Reed. By the power of the beer be rebonded. Uh, Rival Helicopter, all rewards. I should get headed to bed. I love you all. May the power of the beer be with you. Thank you, Rival Helicopter. Thank you for everything tonight. Uh, song Slingers, damn you, Jack. I want two more kitties. He's adorable. Yes, yes, he is. And uh, Katie will teach us some ASL here in a little bit. Where is Katie's from Australia? If you are if you are new um, to the channel, Omodo, thank you very much. All right. All right, how we doing here? There we go. Okay, polish one off. Perfect. Okay, so we have forty-eight hemp fibers. Okay, so we need. So that'll make eight bundles. We need two per axle, right? So this make rope block. Unfamiliar item. Ooh, that sounds nice. Uh, scaffold. Interesting. Okay, so wooden wooden axle. Okay, so I think I... Do I have enough sticks? I don't know if... Oh, no, I do have sticks. Okay. So make a wooden axle. Okay. Here we go. I'm missing my quartz. And boosh. We made a wooden axle, you guys, right there. Water, we doing? Get started in mechanical power require a source such as better with mods water wheel. So now we're going to make a water wheel and also the gearbox, I think, right? Maybe not. All right, water wheel right there. Wood blades, copper gear. Okay, copper gear, a stone gear, a wooden gear. Oh, these things, buffalo teeth. Okay, buffalo teeth. Or I can just use this glue. I got plenty of buffalo teeth and red cedar planks, so it's time to go get some buffalo teeth, you guys. <laughs> uh, let me go to sleep first. Okay, we got to work our way up. This is a milestone of early automation. I'm so excited. Scotcher, I am excited too. All right, I, I'm a big fan of automation, so let's get to it. All right, we need some buffalo teeth. Excuse me, buffaloes. Okay, I got four buffalo teeth there. Let's let's make it. Let's get a, at least enough for a few. I'm sorry, buffaloes. Don't worry. I'll make you have sexy times later. Okay. What the hell? You're not a buffalo. I saved you all. Aren't you happy? Okay. We gotta call the herd a little bit. Oh, that one got away. Where'd he go? Alright. Oh, Buffalo, I'm sorry. Okay. Some more teeth there. Over here. Excuse me. Excuse. Oh. Oh. oh God. I hear. Jesus. Excuse me. All right. So how many teeth we get out of it? Only we got 16 teeth. So that's enough to make four gears. Oh, hey, buddy. You were just hanging out over here. Is that what we were doing? Oh. Stay close to this thing. Come here. Is there another one? No, you're the only one. Oh, I got tense. I hate that noise. 
I generally thought that was it. I was like, well, this is gonna suck. Alright, good, good, good. Okay. I also got a new chess piece, which I can craft. I got some buffalo hide as well, some cow pelts. Okay. So we're gonna make a water wheel. That's what we're doing. Hey Jack, how you how how long are you planning on streaming tonight? Duke, maybe for another hour or so? Alexander Reed, I think I said you already, but just in the case, by the power of the beer bonded. Welcome. Two months. Okay. Water wheel. I mean oh blood. Okay. Blood or glue. Where does glue come from? Oh, okay. A cauldron. All right, a cauldron. Unfired clay bowl into a kiln. Is that what makes a cauldron? Is it unfired? It's a clay bowl. Because I think I got enough for that. All right. All right. Let's do that. We need a kiln now, and I, of course, I broke my kiln. Um, yeah, I have not. Um, yeah, she used to make the cauldron. Can I just throw it in here? Can I do it like that? And then get a coal. Will that not do it? It's got to be in a kiln? Okay, well, we got to make a kiln then. Okay. This, so this is seven blocks and a slab. All right. How much clay? I do not have enough clay. So I gotta find some more clay somewhere. Great, great. Because I broke the one that was there. How the f okay. Um, was this difficult to make? <laughs> Flame grilled hopper, lava wood. Where do I get lava wood from? Lava. Just pour lava on consumes cast. So I just pour lava into that and I don't have it yet. I mean. Yeah, I can't make lava out of that. All right. Uh, hey, Ray Mundo, 1311. Thank you very much. Brand new ward by the power of the beer. We're bond. Appreciate you. Uh. Okay, uh, just nobody gives my free mine count giveaway. Oh, okay. Uh, dirt your queen. All right, all right. Sweet, sweet. Okay, so here we go. I need to get more clay to make a kiln to get a cauldron to make glue. So let's go find some clay real quick. Hi, baby. You don't, you are Sans cat this time. Are you going to show off some, some of your, your moves? Um, I need to be... I don't know. Yeah? <laughs> it's not a trick. You don't have to if you don't want to. Well, I mean, I do, but... You, you can talk in the mic if you, you want. Your little screen just shows that. What do you mean? Like, when you make it little, it's not the whole video. It's a cropped version of it. I'm, I'm confused what you're... I mean, oh, I forgot. When you're on your big screen, when you're showing people, yeah. it's just showing this. Can you see what I'm saying? I'm confused. Oh, wait, it's behind you. Fuck. Oh. I'm so confused. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't realize that you put the gameplay behind you. Yeah, it's you. behind me. Sorry. So I made it I made it big so you can you can talk to people right now if you want. Oh, well, right, but I didn't realize that the green screen was doing the game. Um, I can't, I don't know, I can't really, it's fine. You just keep playing the game. Okay, well, Katie will Katie will teach us all some sign language here. Do you want to sit here and I can step out of the way? Uh, <laughs> uh sure. If okay. You, want, you can give me just two minutes. Katie needs two minutes. I'm gonna teach you all so much sign Oh, I thought you meant two minutes before you're ready. Okay, hang on. No. Let me let me hide myself real quick. So, all right. So Katie's gonna teach you some sign language. Uh, and real quick, I'm gonna make a kiln. Back and use them as a revision. 
And I'll set a precedent. Use them as revision? Yeah, like, if I make a video of myself signing the words and, like, using them in conversation, then I can go back and rewatch them for revision. Does that make sense? I think so. Visual language. All right. Sorry, baby. I just got to... All right, fire single blocks, needs heat source below. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. I gotta break this. Did I not get that back? Did I pick it up? I don't know if I broke my thing. I think I just broke my thing, my bad. Okay. Sorry. What are you making? I'm making a kiln. And then I'm gonna throw unfired clay bowl in, okay. All right, so that's going, Kate, oh, I've, I've been in full screen this whole time. Sorry, guys. That's my fault. I came in and demanded attention. You want to sit next to me? Uh, oh, you want to you wanna try it? Uh, I'm here, I'm sure. Hello, I've come to ruin all of Jack's hard work. And I'm not wearing any makeup, but I shouldn't have to preface that, because this is what humans look like. Katie, you're a good bean. Low bean. Okay, so with sign language, American sign language, because there are different kinds of sign language, I just know that there's going to be somebody in here that speaks it and who's going to be able to correct me or is going to be like, wow, you're doing a really bad job and you're going to fail. I'm sure no one would say that. No, that was supposed to be a self-deprecating joke, but it, I didn't use the right inflection. So, um, so with I feel like the first thing you learn in ASL that's really beneficial is the alphabet. I won't try to teach you the alphabet, but the good thing about uh, I'll like use it. Um, but the good thing about American Sign Language in comparison to Australian Sign Language, I think, is that it's accessible in a lot of ways in that you use, m uh, not mostly necessarily, but for the alphabet, um, or the letters of the alphabet, you use one hand to do it, um, which is cool. So there are things like, you can uh, name is this, so two, two fingers facing out. And you do it kind of like a little fire, like I'm going to start a fire. So this means name. Um, and hello is, is really, you can just wave. This means hello and goodbye, really. But hello is, you know, kind of more like a howdy. Um, so uh, I'm trying to think of, like, what order to do this in. <laughs> I want to be a great ASL tutor. We'll run, run through the alphabet. Why don't you go through the alphabet real quick? Okay. This Here is really go. for my practice more than anything. So the thing I learned is you have to have a loose hand because if it's like really tight, it makes it harder to sign letters. So, uh, and everything's on one hand, which is nice. Um, so I'll go through the alphabet, then I'll say hello, my name is. So it's A, B, C, which is like this, but you face it out like a claw. Um, D, like one, your pointer finger kind of makes a D shape, sort of D. Uh, e, like this, not like that, and not like this. It's like that, E. And then F is the opposite of D. Kind of, no, that looks like an E, never mind, F. <laughs> <laughs> G, which is, you go. And the G is, G is annoying to me because you can kind of face it whichever way and people will know, really. Like, my teacher faces it this way, some people face it this way, um, but the point is it has to be up like this because Q is down. So it just has to be up, whichever way you face it. So G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. <laughs> so H is, is uh, like this, or again, like that. Some people do like that, but I think it's kind of threatening to point it out like that. <laughs> so uh, H. Uh, I, which I struggle with for some weird reason. Your thumb is across your knuckles. I, and then J is a little... It's a hook. It's hook. a J. Which Jack knows this because it's in his name. Uh, it was E, G, H, I, J, K. So that looks like okay, so. this. I stick my little pinky out, which so far hasn't <laughs> been a problem because I just am perpetually sticking my pinky out. Um, uh, but it's, you, you know, you do kind of like... Meh, but you put your thumb here. Meh. <laughs> and that's another one you face out. Um, 
I think some people face it kind of like that, but for the most part, I've seen it faced out. So it's like, meh. Okay, uh, L, which I thought was almost too self-explanatory. Well, this is kind of simple. Um, L and then M. In Australia, ours is, uh, ours is opposite. So this is uh, M. So it's the thumb with the one, two, three over the top, just kind of loosely. And then M is two. N. N. Sorry, shit. M. <laughs> M. N is two. Uh, o, which is like an O, but you face, face it out. So it's like C closed. It's like an emu. It's like an emu. Um, P is like K kind of, but down. So, which is nice because you can go, like you go O, P. O, P. Which is how I remember it. So it kind of just, you know, just, yeah. Any in this spectrum so far I've noticed is fine. Not that the letter you need to bounce, but I'm saying like if it, wherever it lands seems to be fine so far. Uh, Q, like I said, is... Like this, and Q is, I think, the hardest one for me, because uh, you do kind of have to face it out a little bit, and I think that's annoying. <laughs> like it hurts my hand muscles <laughs> to do that. Uh, Q, R, which is just you don't like cross them like this. It's they just gently kind of cross over, and the like thumb, they're hugging. like they're hugging, and the thumb goes over. I have an issue with my pinkies, <laughs> but that's fine. Uh, and S, not to be confused with A. But S, and I have to tuck my nails under for because you could do S like this if you wanted to. But I tuck mine under because my nails are so long right now. So S, the thumb goes over A, it doesn't. So S, uh, T, it's just under one. Don't ask me why. It's I don't know. Just T. Uh, you. I when I was learning, I was like, um, T, and they're like, ooh, that's not what that means. And it's like, that's the devil, <laughs> uh, not the devil, as in like, get away, devil, kind of thing. Um, not that that's what it means in sign language, but that's kind of the implication of going like, no, you heathen, get out of here. Anyway, uh, T, sorry, <laughs> U R S T U V W, pretty nice. So T U, sorry, ugh. You, <laughs> they wouldn't go together. I was having a stroke. <laughs> uh, U, V, W. I also have fingers that do this, which is the double jointed thing. So that makes signing with my hands, my signing letters really great. <laughs> Not U, V, W. X. X. Red rum. And that's another one people do it this way sometimes, but for the most part, I've seen it this way. Again, annoying because the muscles that it takes. Weirdly, <laughs> it, it, <laughs> it does for me. Okay. X. Uh, y. Y. You don't Chakra. do that. You don't do that. You just you just hold it. And then or, Z. Or I, I think you don't do this, actually. I think it's just like this. Uh, and then Z. So it's just making... It's a little lazy. You just point with your finger <laughs> what it looks like. Yeah. So it's your pointer finger, and you just say Z. So it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, <laughs> N, O, P, O, P, uh, Q, R, S. T U V W X Y and Z. Yeah, you did it. So, thank you. It's, Jack knows how long that's taken me <laughs> to learn. So when you say hello, it's uh, hello. My name is Katie. I T I. And if I was to do my last name, it would be. C, so uh, first name, so first name, one, flipping it forward, flipping you this, <laughs> means one, no, it doesn't mean one, this means first, specifically, name is uh, C-A-I-T-I, -I. and then my, uh, shit, <laughs> let's say, uh, my last name, so this one, name, 
It's really finicky. It's not. It's a language. So it's just hard to learn. Uh, you do W A R D. There you go. So, yeah. Or you're not supposed to actually do that. You're supposed to uh, just say, My name is C. <laughs> Keep going to say A. C A I T I. Pause or move to the side. And then W A R D. Cool. The things that I wanted to learn first, I know that Good this job. is not what everyone's here for, but the things that I wanted to learn first, which actually I think I want to write about because I think it's a really interesting, uh, I don't know, I don't know if this says uh, a lot of, if this is a, um, uh, I don't know who shares this experience, mm -hmm. right? Where what, the first thing that I wanted to learn was sorry, right? Uh, Taz Devil 31. 11 months. Thank you, Taz. By the power I, of the baby rebounding. I promise I'm going to leave in a second. Um, the first thing I wanted to learn was sorry. And it, and because I just wanted to keep apologizing for everything. And I knew it was like in my head because we have to go to all these places and do all these things because we have a, a, it's called a passport where we have to go uh, into the um, deaf community. Oh no. Jack is pulling Emma's cheeks out. Um, we have to go into the deaf community and interact through, you know, a, a whole different level of immersion because my professor is deaf, so our classroom is, is non-speaking. You, when you walk through the doors, you can't use your voice anymore. Um, everything is inferred, and it's a, an immersive class. So taking that an extra step, we have to go into kind of like deaf, uh, the deaf community and, and do events and, and things like that. And so I immediately was like, I need to learn sorry. I need to learn sorry. I need to apologize for myself constantly and over and over again. Um, and we didn't learn sorry until today, which is my third or fourth class into mm. it. Um, oh, God, uh, I didn't see that. One interesting fact to learn about ASL, proper nouns usually always have to be spelled by letter. Letter by letter, it says Pack Monster. And then uh, proper nouns. Which one's Brofister proper? says, this is my first time here, and I'm loving it. It's great. Thank you, Brofister. Oh, thanks. For Scotcher it. says, my hand and wrist cramps are real, but I love this. It's, oh. it's yeah, it, but also you might be you might be holding really hard, which is how I started to do it. But, but if you just kind of like loosen your hand, and you always sign, especially with, uh, this is this means finger spelling. Um, so you, or you can do it down here. It really does as long as you can, it's in, it's in this kind of field, but you always fingers like range right here because you have like a, a peripheral, not a peripheral, a, per a proximity, Proxi I don't know. What was I going to say? Uh, uh, you were saying sorry. Yeah, but that somebody said something that made me. Uh, first I'm here, I'm loving it. No. Uh, proper nouns are spelled. What is it? Which one's a proper noun? I it's thought like that a, like, was Mr. or Mrs. or. Well, it's like a name. So like. Like um, DX Racer or Logitech yes. or mm -hmm. you know Doom. Yeah, yeah. Because there, we don't have. You could. Use, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure there is a word for Doom, but you wouldn't use it in that context, yeah. right? Because it means, like you said, the. It's a proper noun. Right. It's a proper noun. That's but cool. yes. So actually, I watched a video. Niall, I forget what his last name. I have a pimple on my eyelid. Who knew that could happen? <laughs> so every time I like think or like furrow my brows, it hurts the pimple. Welcome to my life. Um, I was watching his videos. He's a deaf model and actor. And um, he was talking about Harry Potter and Hogwarts. And he's a fifth generation deaf person. So his parents and his grandparents and their grandparents were, I think that math checks out, were um, deaf. A crack in 13 months. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, and so he, he speaks it so fluently and with his own kind of twists, like his own accent, which is what it is. Um, but he was spelling Hogwarts, Harry Potter, Hermione, J.K. Rowling, like all these things, just like, and I, I it, like it was only when he did really distinctive letters, like Y, like when you're doing M, uh, like M and N and T and S and A, like those all blend to me, <laughs> but it wasn't like, you know, like R and Y and W, like those words I can those letters and so then I can kind of fill in the blanks from there but he was just so fast with it but yeah he had to spell all of those different things and I was thinking about that too because Jack kind of Jack and I were talking about me once I get a little more fluent maybe tr like maybe translating or transcribing because this means translate by the way um a stream but I was like, no, because I'm going to have to, I didn't say no, I, I would like to do that. But in my head, I'm like, I'm going to have to spell 
Minecraft and and all, like hacking or maybe hacking because there's some things some things you can do just by like inferring right like if I'm going like that might look like hacking or killing actually I don't know <laughs> um I know see you later so C is is like I don't know, uh C I think is this way watches that way I just want to say the great Shamuzi Shamuzi. Says, hello, first time viewer of the stream. I'm currently learning ASL, and this was really neat. Thank oh, Shamuzi. that's pretty cool. And Scotcher says, sorry, thank you, slow down. Those would be the first words I want to learn. Right, yeah. yes. And so I did, I, I didn't learn in class, but the, uh, this gentleman, Niall, I actually tweeted about him, so uh, you can find him on my Twitter, because I just recently did that. But he taught me how, well, one of his videos says, uh, so it's, sorry is this. You stick your little thumb out, which I didn't know I was doing this, but you stick your thumb out. I have a lot of cat scratches <laughs> going yeah. on. Uh, and you just go like this. But it's also 70% of ASL is in the face, right? So if you're going like this, that's kind of like you're a sadistic, you know, terrible <laughs> person who's just going, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> so it's like, oh, sorry. You know, like you have to be like really expressive. Sorry is this. Please is this, right? Uh, so I learned um, sorry. Uh, ASL or uh, signing or sign language. He, it's also this, but I've been using this. Um, I'm learning. So. Pack Monster says, first ASL words I want to learn, quiet down, you're handing too loud. <laughs> nice. Bro Fister, I'm back in elementary school. I had a deaf friend and I learned basic ASL to talk to him, but I've forgotten it all since then. Aw. Aw. That's sad. Uh, I don't. Maybe Katie will teach you some more. I, I'm thinking if they ha what quiet would be. I know little is this. Um, but yeah, sorry, slow down. So it's, yeah, it's, uh, you can also say, um, oh, I forget what please is. Uh, what's please? This? this? Oh, no, this you. is please. This is please. Sorry, yeah, I learned sorry and please. So you say, uh, you know, um, Sorry. Oh, like, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Getting my eyebrows wrong. I can't do it. And when you ask questions, like when you ask yes or no questions, your eyebrows are up. And when you ask for more, like if you're asking for a response, you put your eyebrows down. So it's like, uh, are you, are you deaf? You can say, uh, yes. Or you can say no. Um, you know, I'm here. I'm hearing be no but if you're asking a question with more contexts like you know something uh i don't know what time is but like time time what is you know you go like this no this is want what oh this is what what uh but what was i gonna say oh yeah slow down sorry you can say uh sorry ASL, I'm learning. Please sign slower. This, sorry, slower, like that. So I learned that. That's uh, good. Which I can't do very fast, and I'm still figuring out where my eyes go. Bro Fister wants to say, Katie, do you know how to say penguin yet? Or penguin? No. <laughs> Pen penguin. Penguin. I, I don't, but did you know that he's not the only British person that pronounces it that way? Really? Yeah, I was watching um, 8 Out of 10 Cats, and there was another comedian on there who pronounced it like that. Penguin. Penguin. Um, I wonder if saying penguin. Penguin. Like U-I-N. It's pronounced win. So mm. penguin. Uh, penguin. Penguin. Oh yeah, and so they. So here we say, uh, pr um, what do you call it when you say I? Subject. So it's we do uh, subject verb. What's a thing? Predicate. What? What's a thing? Noun. Oh, no, no. Noun. So we do uh, subject verb noun, or or object. Sorry, S uh, subject. Excuse me, I've forgotten English. We go, uh, I'm doing this. I'm doing photography. I'm writing a book. Uh, let's go with I'm writing a book. I'm writing a book. So in ASL, it would be uh, a book I'm writing. 
because they switch it to be obje uh, object, subject. What's a doing word? Adjective? Mm -hmm. Adjective is a describing word. Verb is a. Verb, 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 verb. So in ASL, it's object, subject, verb. Um, so it would be a, a book I'm writing. And this, this means writing. This means writing. <laughs> and this is book. Just showing you from all angles, which my teacher doesn't do. <laughs> She's just like, okay, and it's this. And I'm like, well, what does the rest of your hand look like? Because I don't understand. And you're also 10 million feet away from me. <laughs> so, uh, I just repeat. I do this so much in class because this means repeat. Just repeat that. <laughs> just keep repeating that. And it's questions. Yes. Repeat that. <laughs> I do that a lot. Ellie. <clears throat> um, Ellie. Penguin and ASL is a weird waddle thing. Yeah, that sounds about right. Ellie doesn't trust me anymore. I learned cat. For some reason, context is stuck in my head because I knew I'd forget that, and so I, I spent so much mental energy on remembering it, so now I know context. <laughs> uh, I learned time. Um, so this is morning. Your hand is here, and you put this towards your face. So morning. So you would say, good morning. And then afternoon, it rests here, and you point it out, and you're like, oh, good afternoon. And then evening, it gets kind of closer, right? So right now you're here. Evening is halfway. Do whatever with this. <laughs> and then night is on your hand. So you say good evening. Yeah, yeah, evening is halfway. Afternoon, evening, night. Um, Trying to get Ellie. She's, Ellie's upset at me. Cause I got new friends for you. I learned, I learned, uh, uh, you can, I think you can do, I'm feeling, there are some sentences that you can do in, in English order. So like, I'm feeling that you do it like this. Uh, wait, is that feeling? No, that's please. Feeling is this, where you like tickle, tickle your chest. Give it a little tickle. Uh, that's feeling. Uh, please is this. So like, yes, please. Um, I'm feeling sad. <laughs> so I learned that, it's sad. Uh, and then stressed, which I did a lot today, which is just stressed. Someone in the chat said we should separate this into its own separate video. Maybe put it on your channel. Like we'll oh, like sorry. we'll put the whole archive on my channel, but then we'll put like this this bit of you explaining stuff to people on your channel. It's like commandeered your channel. That's okay. Thing. I'm sorry, Jack's like I just want to play video games. Hey, Andy Cortez is hosting no, us. No, Andy. No. Aww. Thank you, Andy Cortez. Thanks, Andy. Miss you, dude. Sorry, I, I don't know if you were packs or not, but hey. Oh, I, I thought uh, I thought that uh, kind of funny fight Andy because they hated him and because he lost his belt. Well, I don't know why I'm shitting on Andy. I love Andy. He's, tra he's trying to get a job at Funhouse. <laughs> I love Andy but so Alana much. Took his job. Oh no! Yep. They can only be one pretty blonde girl. Sorry, Andy. <laughs> right, at least it's a pretty blonde. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm doing mean to Andy. I love Andy. Katie, um, this has been wonderful. You are really good at this. Making it fun. I like learning it from you, says Scotcher. <laughs> that's Aww. Sweet. Thank you, Scotcher. Thank you. Aw, Andy Cortez <laughs> says, love you guys. Love, I love you too, you, Andy. Andy. I, I come, miss you. I know. I want to come out to San Francisco again. Andy, I want to bring Katie some. I feel like Andy was he was always so uh he was always so nice to me. And I feel like when you go to, you know, I'm not like big, that Tim, like big asshole. Tim Gettys? Yeah. yeah, that guy suck. No, I'm just kidding. I love Tim. He's he's wonderful. I feel like I would love to be at the kind of funny office. They're just so Good positive dudes. and kind. And I think sometimes when you get like a huge group of creative people who who are just like so focused on what they're doing, it can be a little intimidating going into that environment. And so sometimes going to the Rooster Teeth office is really kind of like uh, scary for me because I'm just like, oh, everyone's really busy. I don't want to like interrupt anybody or talk to anyone because everyone's got things due and stuff going on. But every time Andy saw me, he was like, hey, it's really nice to see you. Like, what are you up to? Like, and I was just like, Andy, I really appreciate you. <laughs> You're so welcoming. So Andy's cool. You should follow him on everything. He's also really funny. And yes. he does uh, 60, 60 second reviews. Yes. Is that? That's my favorite. One of my favorite things Andy does. Uh, anyway, so Andy is A. <laughs> and 
Monty. Why? There you go. <laughs> We're learning. Aww. And I forget what love is. I've never... <laughs> just keep that. Just, I forget I mean, what, what love, love is. <laughs> don't hurt me. Really, hey. I don't know what love is. Don't hurt me. So... No more. Uh, I don't know don't. I don't know hurt. Um, I, I don't know if this is love or something to do with a fist. <laughs> Love fist. <laughs> oh, it's hot in here. Andy Cortez, I forgot what love is. <laughs> yep, there you go. Go ahead and clip that out. Put it everywhere. Uh, Ellie, what are you doing over there? Yeah. Oh. Um. Anyway, uh, there was one other thing I was gonna do, but I forget what it is. I'm gonna see if I can grab Ellie without her freaking out. Computer is this, or at least my my professor prefers it computer to be this. It can be. Uh, I think you can do like multiple different ways, but. Um, he professed computer to be that. Um, <laughs> I don't know that I ever learned love, if I'm being honest. <laughs> like, my teacher may have foregone that. She's like, nah, they're loveless, lawless kids. Uh, I say kids are all very much adults. Except this homeschool kids. I, the homeschool community in Austin is enormous, one. Two, they're all graduating college at 19. Nice. Because they're getting dual credit for all of their high school courses. Crazy. Uh, anyway, I feel like I should leave now. You can, well, I mean, do you mind if I play? You can keep talking. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go read. You sure? Yeah, mostly because I pulled out ASL books to read. Oh, okay. I don't think I ever lo learned love either, <laughs> so says I'm, Pac I'm not alone. <laughs> you a heart, right? <laughs> Uh, it's just two hands. That's what I thought it was. Mostly because my professor, which is how emotion works, right? My professor no, this would is do. Wakanda forever. She would do. Yeah. Well, that could honestly it could be derivative of that, right? It could be. Um, which you know, language like everything's derivative of Latin or Greek or whatever, <laughs> English or that whatever. is or whatever. I don't know. It's French is but everything's a derivative of something of of you know whatever. Uh. So yeah, she would. She would do this for some things, so I don't know. Uh, that's all I got. Yep. All oh, right. ILN counting. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because, again, they do it on one hand, which, to me, how do you be a mathematician, w like, with sign language? Because uh, it's, you know, one, uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I look like a crazy person I'm looking at myself. Uh, but then, when you're doing um, eleven, it go. It's then eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh wait, no, I lied. Uh, excuse me, ten. Um, shit, what's eleven? Nine, twelve is this. But you just, I think you double tap it. Oh, okay. And then okay. for however many times, like, like you, <laughs> to me, it's like when you're dealing it's with like enormous code, numbers, you know? you're just like, oh, God, I've lost track. That's when you just write shit down, I'm sure. <laughs> Jay Snyder's enjoying the new language skills. Nice. Um, see you later. I'll do that. So see you later is like, just you got two fingers like this. See you kind of just do it to the side because you're going to move it. See you later. Is that your sign off? Yeah, that's how you say it. All right. See you later. Well, I love you. Thank you for coming by. Are you going to... How dare you kiss me in front of all these people? <laughs> I haven't learned love yet. What is love? <laughs> what is love? <laughs> Jack's like, cool, here's the exit. Leave. Uh, uh, dead scientists... On necromancers and shouldn't be trusted. <laughs> uh, thank you for hanging out, everybody. I think you're great, and I appreciate you bearing with me while I tried to teach you sign language very poorly. Love you. And see you later. <laughs> ah! Watch the mic. Good job. Bye. Come on. I'll be down a little bit. All right. Katie's turning the lights on and off. That's how you get someone's attention. What, turning the lights on and off? Yeah, if you can't get their attention, you flick it. Not a bunch of times, you just do it like once or twice. Like, as an, uh, for a deaf person to get their attention? Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought you meant like, like an elementary school. Do it in any other way. Oh, that's interesting. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm back. Thank you very much, Katie. She's amazing. And she's so talented, and I'm so proud of her. And she is everything awesome about me is because of her. So, anyway, where were we? We were, uh... This is like a... Oh, okay. Um, all right, so we made a kiln. And inside there... Uh, is our cauldron. So we made a cauldron, which I realize now I don't have a lot of space. I think I might need to actually make this a little bit wider. So we're gonna make this a bit wider. Oh, come on. So we gotta we gotta go out this way with it. Cause I need to widen up my my space. Or maybe we'll just put the cauldron in the back. I hear all the the uh, cows must be close. Or the, the buffalo, excuse me. The buffalo are going to be close. Alright, so uh, we were working on gears and whatnot. So we're going to gearbox and all that jazz. And all that jazz. I'm going to be everything. Okay, so here we go. So how does this work? Uh, so a cauldron. Do I need to heat it? Do I need to put this over fire? Does a cauldron go over fire? I'm going to assume it probably does. Um, how long have you been streaming, Jack? Uh, I've been streaming tonight for almost two hours over fire. All right, so here we go. We'll put a cauldron right there. Okay. So that's convenient we had that. So now, if we throw uh, some rotten flesh, of course, I just I had a bunch of rotten fr flesh. Fr rotten flesh. Rotten flesh. All right, here we go. I got nine, so that'll make three of them. So if I come over here... And I do... Is that how it works? I don't know how this works. Oh, there it goes. Okay, it is, it is warming up. So I do... Uh, congealed rotten flesh. Congealed spider eyes. Spider eyes. Watching you. Uh, Whitehawk42, 12 months ago. Damn, it's already been a year. It's been a blast watching you, Jack. Thank you, Whitehawk, by the power of the beer bond. Appreciate you. Pack Monster, you know the one true sign language, Lego. <laughs> That's our one true language, Lego. That is true. I do know me some Lego. I'm very curious what's going to happen here once this is done. Like, if it's just going to finish this or what? Because it was just three. Right? Because it was in a cauldron. Right there. Makes glue. Three. Makes glue. Oh, there we go. Do they need to be stacked, or is it just three? Like, if I do that, will it make me two more? I won't touch it to see what happens. Okay. So we got glue now. Um, we got our teeth. We got our bone. Strang. Um, put our strang away. Put our bone away. Got a lot of raw buffalo meat. I don't know if that'll cook in there. So we need to make another setup like this. We need another hot hopper for uh, for the um, the cooking thingy. This uh, this thing, the stone grill. Um, I got one brick. I don't know why I have one brick. There we go. All right. So we're trying to get a water wheel. All right, so we're just going to dig down until we basically get down to the bottom. Wooden gear right here. So I can do this. Oh. So I can, well, okay. Hang on. Water wheel. So I really didn't even need the glue. That was just to make this version of it as opposed to this, which I had. Well, well we needed it anyway. That's fine. All right. Um, okay, so we're going to do this. There's a wooden gear. So now a wooden gear. We need this to get a stone gear. Perfect. Okay, now a copper plate. We have to... Oh, I don't know how to do that. I do have this, though. Okay, copper ingot. A stone mallet. Okay, so I need a stone mallet and four. So four copper ingots. Bronze, copper. There we go. I have a bunch of, let's just put some of this stuff up here for now. Um, put you away, put you away. You away. 
Why not? Uh, and we'll, we'll deal with the hides and the black horse here in a bit. All right. Um, wolf chest. That's my nickname, Wolf Chest. All right. So now uh, I need my stone mallet right here. So I put that down. There's one, two, three, and four. Um, a lot of my stone gear, my black horse, just in case. So now, copper gear. Boosh. Got ourselves a copper gear. Now, we need wood blades. Okay, glue. So we need a glue for this. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> that's, that's actually good. Oh, man, I need a bunch of them, though. I need... Oh, man, I need a bunch of glue. So I need three, six, seven, eight. Eight glues. And I think I have three. I have three. Um, what else can become glue? Alright, so rabbit hide, animal pelt, white wolf pelt, gator skin. Don't know what that is. So it looks like pelts. Pelts can all become glue. So I need five pelts. There's two. Uh... All right, let's do buffalo. I need five. So one, two, three, four, five, because I can get lots of buffalo pelts. Let's see if this works. I don't know if buffalo pelt will work. Um, we'll try it. Buffalo hide. Oh, it makes double. Oh, sweet. Oh, I'll get, I'll get glue for days. Jack, we're being invaded. Oh, my God. Hey, the Kent. Hey, Kent, what's up, man? Thank you very much, Kent. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Hey, look at Kent. Thank you very much. I love that. I love that icon, Kent. That's awesome. That's very cool. Thank you very much, Kent. Go uh, go subscribe to Kent. The underscore Kent C. Go follow him. Subscribe. He's a freaking awesome dude. I love Kent. He makes everything really, really awesome. Okay. Copper gear. We're getting close. So this, I need slabs. Darklands, you, maple. Is there any way to see any slab wood? Okay. So do I have any slabs already? I got, there's three, four. Um, can I make slabs now? It's always, I'm always curious. Okay, I can make slabs. Okay, so we'll do that. Oh, there's nine there. Thatch slabs. Okay, so let's see if I can do... Water wheel. All right, so let's do one of these. Boosh. There's one. Um, what does it look like? It's three on the left and one on the right. So three. Like you. What? I guess thatch doesn't work. All right, so thatch does not work. Oh, that's just thatch. That's not actually a slab. That's thatch. Okay, so let's get... Uh, let's get a bunch of, let's get some new slabs. Okay, slab. There we go. Uh, so it takes, it takes a bunch. We'll do 30. Alright, so it's that, like there. Okay, so that. We got three of them now. We're well on our way. Beauty. This is the rhythm of the night. All right. Seven. We just need one more. One more, you guys, and we can make our water wheel. Oh, it's so close. Boosh right there. Perfect. Okay. All right. So one of those and right there. And we're going to put this in the middle and that around the outside. Boom. Boom. We made ourselves a watered wheel. What are we doing? Ah, Zard. 28 months in over Zard. Costa's home. You got Ellie some siblings. Love you, boss. Aw, I did. We got we got Coop and Reamer. They're little kitty cats. They're little kittens. Ellie's not a huge fan of them yet, but that's okay. Pack Monster gifted a sub to Kent C. Aw, thank you very much for that. 
That's fantastic. You guys, I'll go check out Kent. And thank you, Pac, for doing that. By the power of the breed, we're doing, bonded. Outlander, hey, Jack, been here. Since, been in three Achievement Hunter streams tonight and heard of the fourth. I like Kent and you for the nice, calm streams. Ryan's was something tonight. All right, I'll have to check out some of that. Uh, Brace 69, Moonball. Minda. Thank you, Brace. Uh, what else did I miss? Uh, I think that's it. Okay. All right, so now I have an axle and a water wheel. Which I need a gearbox. Do I need a gearbox? Okay. Just heads up. Not sure if it's bug or not, but you'll need to put an axle down first, then put the water wheel on the axle. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna maybe look at the guide thing I found for this before I place anything. So how does the water wheel work? Does this need to be touching water? Because it's pretty massive. All right, it's night outside. And also, do I need a gearbox? Should I get? Should I make a gearbox before I do any of this? You can put the water wheel and the running water next to your shore and use, or use aqueducts transport transport water close to the base. That's okay. The kids' names are Ru Coop and Reamer. Coop and Reamer. Uh, perpetually awesome. Thank you very much. Perpetually awesome. Uh, Brandy Warden by the power of the beard rear bonded. Thank you. Perpetually awesome. Okay. Follow main quest guide to a water wheel and a gearbox. A water wheel and gearbox make three wooden axles. Um, okay. It's a five by five block. Oh my god, Dragon, Dragon Astra, Dragon Astra. Thank you very much for that. Dragon Astra just hooked up five people. Um, Alpha Ninja XX, A per EW, Frolicking Fish, Finger Erection, Lord Lord Dark Lord Dark Fang. And then Zach B, 1986, behind all them, 13 months in a row. Hey, Jack, 13 months. How time has flown. Glad to hear you have new kittens. What was the, me what was the meaning behind their names? By the power of the beer rebonded. Thank you very much, guys. It's Coop and Reamer from uh, Basketball. If you haven't seen Basketball, you should do that. All right. Excellent. Okay. Uh, requires a gearbox. So we need to make a gearbox, too. So, um, clutch box, wooden gearbox. Okay. Stage one. All right. So we need two wooden gears, a couple of bronze plates, and thin... How do you make thin slabs? You put a slab on a chopping block. Okay. That's all right. All right. So the bronze plate I can do. Oh, bronze. Okay. Wait, bronzing it. How many of those do I have? I got three. So a gearbox, I need two of them. Okay, good. Okay, that's good. So a gearbox, I got two of those. Thin things I can do. I have. I need to make. I need to make more axles. Okay. Oh, I can do that. That's easy. Okay. Hemp rope. So I think I had. I had two more hemp rope on me, right? Put it up here. Or I should make it. I haven't made it yet. Okay. And then an axle. So let's go ahead. Uh, make out, we got two bronze. Um, we'll save that. And then, did I put the hammer away? Stone mallet. Okay. Okay. And then. Okay, got that. Stone mallet. You can go back up in there. Okay, got two of those. We got an axle. Uh, and then we need the thin, the wooden gears. So I need more wooden gears, which I can make more of those. Um, there we go. Where's my teeth? Did I put my teeth away? 12. Okay. Wooden gear. I'll do that. Okay. It's three wooden gears now. That's fine. Um, okay. Gearbox. All right, now for a gearbox, all I need is just these the slabs, which we'll do. We'll do a few of them, and we'll take these over to get crushed. Uh, how's life treating you? Hey, Jess, what's up, man? Jess, kid, it's good, dude. I haven't heard from you in a while, man. How how are things? How's New York? Love seeing you, dude. 
Just kid, just became a warden too. By the power of the beard, rebonded. Love you, man. Um, yeah, things are good. Jess, Jess is an old, old rooster teeth buddy. He was the. What were you? Were you the the most, the most friended person on the site? Is that what it was, for a long time? I think. I forget, I forget how it was. The most modded. I it, God, that was three hundred years ago, dude. All right. Uh, the press. Okay, so. Well. Are you not attached to this? I don't think he is attached to it. Um. Well. Yeah. There's just a loose buffalo in here. I guess I'm just missing a uh, missing a lead. Or did it break? Is that not working? What's going on? Why aren't you why aren't you making this work? Do I have an invisible lead on this guy? Um. Okay, I'm not sure exactly what happened here. Uh, bug makes leads invis and or break sometimes. Oh, great. Okay. So he's he's following me around. I imagine that means I have a lead. Yep, there it is. Okay. So now, lead to there. Get to pressing. Oh, and I found the other lead. Alright, you go to there. Is that... Why isn't this working? Oh. Um... Oh, it's a... Wait, what? Oh, it's the chopping block. I'm an idiot. I'm a big dumb idiot is what I am. Okay. But I do have one of those. So here we go. There he goes. All right. Um, well, I need them anyway. So yeah, go ahead, buddy. All right. Uh, Jay, the Le uh, Jay the Leo King. Thank you very much. Brand new warden by the power of the beer rebonded. Um, chop not pressed. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. What did the Buffalo say to his son leaving? Bison. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, wow, I got a bunch of wood. Take all that back with me. All right. Thin oak slabs makes my gearbox. Four of them. I got, there's four right there, so I'm good now. Okay. Uh. Ah! Ah! I hate when I do stuff like that. Okay, hang on. Let's do this. Oh. I was like, why am I having trouble jumping? Alright. Grab the rest. Grab the rest. And there we go. Alright. What is this? Willow leaves. It's kind of cool looking. God, that, the totem scared the crap out of me right then. Okay, here we go. Getting back in. We have enough to make a gearbox now. And we need to make another axle as well. Okay, so now, gearbox. Right? Wooden gearbox. Booyah. There we go. Grinding my gears. Look at him go. Craft a turntable. Connect the power with the mechanical power and place a block on top to begin shaping. Shaping. Ooh. Shape a clay bucket, cook it in the kiln so I can get buckets now. Buckets. Okay. If you want to do all the requirements for a clay bucket, you want a total of two gearbox plus one turntable plus four saw. 
by recording along with 32 raw hemp to make axles. Wow. Okay. So let's, well, let's see if we can get this going. So we got a, we got a water wheel, got a gearbox, but now we need an axle, right? Also, let me just go ahead and do, well, let me not waste all my sticks yet. Um, also, you can go away and there. Put my sticks in there too. More hemp seeds. Great. Okay, so now, all right, axle. I'm going to make another one of these. Of course, I just put my sticks away. Hemp rope. Do that. And then two hemp rope. And then sticks. Okay. So, those are for gears. Don't worry about the numbers at this point. Only for gears. Um, okay. Okay. So, oh, I see. So, one, I mean, okay, I don't even know. All right. Bucket. Bucket. We can make a bucket, you guys. Uh, all right, Jess. Hey, sorry, Jess. You got a little buried and all that stuff. But, hey, text me, dude. My number hasn't changed. So, if you have my old number, shoot me a text, man. I want to I talk to you. I want to see how things are going. Next time I'm in New York City, we should hang out. If you're still up there, I'm assuming. All right. Uh, do, do, okay, so now I've got a gearbox. I've got a water wheel. I've got an extra gear. Okay. So. We'll come down here. So what is sort of the... Uh, Best course of action here, everybody. I'm going to get my scythe because I just like playing with that thing. My new toy. Uh, I need you to text my new number. What was yours again? <laughs> awesome kick-ass. Thank you very much. By the power of the beer, we're bonded. Major big evil as well. By the power of the beer, we're bonded. Brand new warden right there. Appreciate you guys. Um... Crushed black quartz flat. I guess the raw buffalo meat will not cook up. I don't know if that will or not. We'll give it a shot. Oh, it's getting dark. Okay. Scotcher, I think you may be able to upgrade your backpack now. Ooh. Really? Oh, I forgot. I keep forgetting I have my backpack. Got a bunch of stone in there for whatever reason. Let's get rid of that. Uh, bag pack. Or is it a backpack? I'm an idiot. All right, it's a backpack. Next upgrade is wooden. All right, so let's go to the end here. Does this make it a wooden backpack? One on body. Black dye powder. So this dyes it. So I'm assuming this just makes it into the next one. Probably holds more stuff. Tier zero. Next aid. It's the next stage you unlock good backpacks. Okay, okay. We'll wait till the next stage. All right. So let's get this water wheel up and running. Okay. So let's go straight down. I got my scythe now so I can wreck this stuff. I guess not. I guess this stuff doesn't care about my scythe. Great. I was so excited to come down here and use it. Okay. Just knock some of these down. I can just hit it with the scythe and see what happens. Nothing really. It's clearing out some space. Oop, that was dirt. So what I figure I'll do. Oh, uh, ah, is I'll make a little platform. So you come down here and there'll be a little like wooden platform. And we'll put our, 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 our uh, wooden stuff on for now. All right, so you come down here. Okay, beautiful. 
So now, we'll go out a little bit. Let's do it like this. And then, got ourselves a little platform. So how, uh, you can shift right click with an empty hand and move the kiln hopper and switch the grill so it won't break. Oh, that's true. I could do that. Okay, well, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that here in a second. Okay, thank you for that. Heads up, uh, Prince, Princess Adora. Princess Adorable. That's adorable. Aww. Emerald Hulk, thank you very much. Um, Jack, hi Jack from Ireland. First time catching stream live. Thank you very much. It must be early as hell over there. Uh, what are we doing, Jack? T Daddy Bear. We are. We're playing some Minecraft, dude. We're playing Minecraft. Uh, Sierra, here's a few bits for the most handsome beard on Twitch. Not feeling, not been feeling the best for a couple days here, so hoping to watch you play some Sevtech will make me feel better. Aw, thank you very much. Uh, Zach B. I think it's time for a random sploosh. Well, slightly random. I want to take, ask you what has happened with the Necronomicon thus far. Uh, also, dude, dude, um, not a whole lot. I mean, I kind of took it off, and now it's kind of like, it's fine. It's not, not killing anyone, so that's good. All right, let's clear out all the space. Okay. So I'm going to look at my guide thing again here. Sorry. Uh, what else did I miss here? Anybody else? I think we're good. Okay. Uh, place place a block on your platform, gearbox on the block, axle on gearbox, over the water, water wheel on gearbox. Okay, so like if I do this, and I place the gearbox here, and then an axle, and then water wheel, is that what you want? Chibi Acer? Carve a five long trench for the water wheel. Uh, can the water wheel not go like this way, like horizontal? Like, if I put... The gearbox down here. Does it need to go anywhere in particular? Let me look at my thing here. Yeah. One square closer to the water. Okay, so we'll put it here then. Uh, water has to be flowing though. Is it not flowing? I mean, this is definitely a river. The water pushing the wheel should be running. Okay, well. Let's see if we can find some running water. I, I could have sworn this water was moving. I guess this is pretty settled water. Well, I've got running water uh, way the hell over here. Um, tea Daddy Bear. What, what happened? Uh... Okay, let's see here. All right, let's run over here. Let's find some running water. Ooh. There's a bunch of squids. Oh. Remember your Minecraft. Try placing blocks in the water and dig them up to create movement. Oh, does that work? I mean, could I do that? So, someone said, remember Minecraft water physics, but... Water in this is a lot different, yo. All right, so let's... I just threw my axe by accident. All right, so let's go ahead. Okay, so... Okay, we'll do this. All right. All right. So now, if I dig this up. Yeah. <laughs> that didn't work at all. Okay. Hmm. The only difference is the source blocks no longer create other source blocks except in river, oceans, biomes. Okay. Well... I'm at a loss here. Dig a trench. Okay, so you're saying like... If I do like this... Uh, dig a little trench from the shore. Oh. Oh. Oh, you're saying like that. I got it. I, th I think I got it now. Okay, so now if I do... We're going to have to rework this. 
What do I got in there? Nothing. Okay. Let me get, let me get some dirt. I need a crap load of dirt. I can make this work. I can make this happen. I'm pretty sure I got a bunch of dirt down here. All right. Ground stuff. Yeah. Oh god, there's so much crap in here. All right. Let me dump some of this stuff. Sticks. Uh I'll hold on to that for now. Okay, well, that's enough dirt. Okay, so now... I'll just put you up and grab you. Okay. I think I might be able to do this. Dang, I'll play Minecraft again. This, it's, this game's addicting. I'm, I'm, it's, it's addicting. Be careful. Alright, so now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go under here. Okay. Okay. Do that. Right. I don't know what this crap is that's here, but whatever. All right, so now if I do like that. But then I do this. I'm nervous. Will this fill up? Like, will this work? Is that, that good right there? I don't like these. I don't like that crap there. All right. Will that work? Worst case, redo it. Okay, yeah, that's true. Okay, so now... So, do I put the... Does the, does the gear... That will work? Okay. So now, of course I put all my freaking wood away. Damn it. I need I know, I need to make it look pretty. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're going we're gonna to drop this. We're going to drop this and it's going to be awesome. Okay. I'm going to put up some more dirt. And then get, uh, not you, I'll get oak. All right. Now it's becoming night. I don't want to deal with creepers and stuff. We'll sleep it off. Water may stop you from placing a water wheel? All right, well, we'll figure it out. Like you said, worst case scenario, we'll just rebuild it. Okay. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Okay. So now we're going to Do I still place it right here or do I put it like an axle length away? Like does does the axle go between it? It's five by five. Axle should be at eye height. So if I put the gearbox here, like so. I'm assuming the gear, it needs to be facing this way, doesn't it? Right. All right, so it faces away from you when you place it. Okay, except for that time. All right, how do, how do I... Does it matter which direction it's pointing? Wheel goes on the axle, not next to it. Okay. Sh uh, right click or shift right click to rotate. There we go. Okay, beautiful. So now, I do I put an axle here. Dry coffer dam, then place the wheel. Dry coffer dam, then place the wheel, then let the water in. I mean, I, could, I can block this off if I need to. 
I mean, if, if, if it doesn't work, I can put it down. So now the axle goes here. Scotch, those are just words. Scotcher, yes. Thank you, Scotcher. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna assume that's right. And get my water wheel. Not enough room to place water. I need a five by five area to work. Okay. Poppin' fresh. Hey, poppin' fresh. Thank you very much. Hey Jack. Uh love big fan from Perth, Australia. Meet you at RTX Sydney. Well, Oh, you met me in RTX City. Awesome. Thank you very much. Pop and Fresh. You're awesome. Thank you very much. Two axles, then the water wheel on the second axle. Can I not just do it like this? Does it have to be two? I think the one I the one I saw just had one axle. It is massive though. It needs to be one closer. Imagine you are sliding the wheel onto the axle. Oh. Really? Oh, you know what? That probably has two axles. Oh, I got it. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Uh, we're going to do this then. And then, uh, yeah, this and this. All right. So now, place you. And we'll get. All right. And then Axel. Look at that. We got a water wheel, you guys. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. All right. I'm going to replace some of these with prettier looking blocks. This may break it for now, but yeah, it does. Okay, that's all right. Oh, crap. Okay, well, that's stupid. I'm an idiot, is what I am. Well, okay, well, we'll have to fix this. Okay, we'll fix it here in a second. Um, hmm. Okay. So now I have to... Okay, well... We'll break the water wheel. Okay, that was the gear. What the hell? Uh, I just doubled my water wheels. I don't know how I did that, but okay. Sweet. <laughs> that, that was that was pretty cool. Um, I probably won't take advantage of that, but hey. All right, so. Okay, so now, get rid of this one. There we go. So that's all gone. Okay, and then we're going to break this guy. Put you on there. And put that there. And there we go. And then we'll go like... Let's make this look... Prettier. There we go. Look at that. We got a water wheel, you guys. Look at that thing spinning. Beautiful. Oh. All right. Look at us. We got ourselves some automation happening, I think. Um, thank you very much, everybody. Oh, oh, Jesus. I missed a few. SC fan, 27 months. SC fan, thank you very much, SC fan. Uh, Vonnie B, 27, brand new warden by the power of the beer, beer bond. Appreciate you. Psy Gaming, uh, or Psy Guy Gaming, excuse me. It was awesome seeing you at RTX and Let's Play Live this year. I think my favorite thing was watching you shock Jeremy while he played Spyro. That wasn't me. I didn't, I didn't, or did I shock Jeremy? All right, maybe, maybe the group shocked him, yes. Um, Woo says Chibi Acer. Thank you very much. And X Crew X. Thank you very much. By the power of the baby bonded. Okay. Now, this is spinning. So now I need. Uh, so we got this. Okay. So I need a saw. 
and also uh, a turntable. So we need a few more axles. So how, how many axles out will this go? Like, do I need more wheels or could I, do I get more power? Like if I attached like another ax, like two more axles and another wheel right here, would that give me more power? Another axle and saw now, also another axle you can bring over the millstone. Oh, beautiful, okay. Okay, let's do that. Let's get over here. Yeah, let's see if we can get the millstones going. You only need one wheel as far as I know, okay. All right, so let's make a few more things. So we need more axles, which is a lot of hemp, okay. Um, well, I can make, so I can make two more axles and then I need sticks. We'll make one for now. Um, yeah, okay, so, okay. Three axles, ideally, one for turntable, one for millstone, one for saw. Okay, well, let's, let's get one for the millstone. So, okay, so can I hook up the millstone directly to it now? Uh, enough axles for infinite guns and rose bands. It's not like RF powered, more, it's more like a binary powered, oh, power, okay, cool. Torches. Only one slash, though. Okay, so if I do this, and I take this millstone, so if I go down here, actually make it four turntable requires own axle in the recipe, okay. So now, if I, like if I, if I, can I put an axle, like how does this work exactly? Gearbox splits power to multiple axles. It should be power your tools like the saw. Okay, so this is a gearbox. So now if I put one here, I'll look at it spinning. Okay, so now if I do like this and then millstone. That was not, it's not a millstone. Does it, is it too high? Okay. I think it might be too high. I don't know. I don't know how this works. Um, needs to attach the bottom. Mill take, millstone takes power from bottom or top. Oh, okay. Uh, you can make axles and gearboxes to make a network for all the machines. Millstone accepts rotation from the bottom. Okay, so now... So if I do like... Uh, I'll, I'll adjust this later. Don't worry. I can tell you guys are worried. All right. So like that. And then like that, it looks like it's going. Look, there it's going. Oh, beautiful. Well, that's going to get me a buttload of hemp. Oh, crap. It's just throwing it somewhere, though. Okay, okay. We need to figure out. It threw my hemp somewhere. There it is. Okay. Uh, so I should do a hopper of some nature. Can you do a hopper on its side? Hey, Jack, would you like a worm do? I don't know, KP Tangy. What's a worm do? Uh, okay, so... Uh, downside of the setup, the Tim's gonna go everywhere. Yes, that is true. Well, maybe. Oh, I wish that water wheel was higher. All right, let me go. Let me get some sleep. If I had more gearboxes, I could I could move stuff around. Okay. Okay. There's. Well, let's, okay, we just need, we need a little bit more hemp. So I'm going to let this run for a little bit and I'll, I'll hang out near it and just collect it. Because I do need more hemp to make more axles. All right, so you just go there for a bit. You just go nuts. Um, I'll also go ahead and do that. Um, okay, I'm going to go, I'm going to go check my hemp's. Over here, see how they're doing. Okay. Get 
some more hemp. Okay, collect all my hemp. That's good. Come back over here. Oh, that looks so cool. All right. Getting lots of hemp. This is good. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. Hey, Jack, a few more questions. Can we expect to see Hunter the Musical soon? How's Achievement Haunter filming going? And finally, is Uno of the Movie 2 still happening? Zach, um, Achievement Hunter the Musical, the goal is to get it done before Extra Life this year, so November. Um, what else? Uh, Achievement Haunter's filming is going great. Going great. We filmed more, I think, more than half of the first season now. And then Uno of the Movie 2 is still happening? I don't know. At some point, yes, but we don't want to just force it, you know. Thank you. Uh, BK Op Chains. Thank you very much, Udaman. No, Udaman. Thank you, BK. That's very kind of you. Scotcher, eight hopper Mark II's, one level below the millstone, pointing to each other and finally to a chest. So we need to catch the mill grinds. Okay. Uh, pointing to each other. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Hopper Mark II's. Okay. Um,. How easy are those? It's bark. Which um, I think I can get from the saw coming up pretty soon, right? Oh, this is so nice. Okay. What are we at? 42? Let's, let's get a stack. We'll get a stack of, uh, of hemp fibers. I stand here, I'll just catch it as it's coming out. Um, wiggles around on the ground. <laughs> uh, DJ Rose, by the power of the beer rebound, a brand new warden right there. Thank you very much, DJ. All right, 48. We're getting close. I'm all about that automation, yo. 51. One. Seems odd. I saw more fall. 57. Am I missing some? Sixty. That seems odd. And all right, where to go? 63, close enough. All right. Butamus. So if I did... So can I do another axle away? Like, I mean, basically put an axle between this... Like the water wheel, move this thing back. That way that thing's not surrounded. But I could. All right, well, we can make a lot of axles now. We got a lot of, we got a lot of hemp fiber. Which was the important stuff for the XLs. Okay, so. Doop, doop, doop. All right, so I got sticks. I got my hemp fiber. Got a bunch of those. All right, there's six of them. Okay, so now. We'll say axle. Um, we'll go ahead and make one. We'll make two more axles for now. Okay, so what else did I need to make? You can set up to three blocks away, then extend each side out three. Oh, okay. Up to three axles per gearbox. Cool, okay. Now, is it three axles total? Like, two and one is three? Or is it like one, two, three away from it? Because I want to see if that's the case. Because I want to go over here real quick while I have this axle. Let's see if I can get a little space. And I get a space. Okay, so... Basically, gonna break all of it, so we're breaking this first. Uh, that, and then we're gonna. Okay. Well, I'm, of course, I'm full. So now I'm gonna take this, put it there, put a gearbox there, shift, right click it. I'm going to break this for now. Uh, 
I, I like that that thing's still spinning. All right, so get my axle. Okay, so that's going. Cool, okay. So now, I can put that there. I'll put that there. So now if I want to do that hopper deal, I could do that now. I could automate it. So up to three axles. So there's three axles there. So if I put one like... No, it's still going. So I guess it's three, three long is what you're saying. Okay. Uh, power will transfer up to three blocks. Gearbox will reset the counter if it's the fourth block. Okay. Nice. Okay, cool. Well, this is working. All right, so now... Um, I need a saw. Oh. Flint saw blade, tin gear, oh man, there's a lot of stuff. One gear to a stone, okay. Alright, this is going to take a lot. I just want to make an up dog joke, but I'm too tired. <laughs> hey, Tarl Z, thank you, Tarl Z. By the power of the beer, we a brand new warden right there. Thank you very much. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so now we need to make a saw. We're getting there, you guys. The automation stuff makes me very, very happy. Look at this piece of crap. Screw your stupid thing. Don't need you anymore. Uh, what do you get with millstone? Flour. What do you make with flour? Dough. You can cook it into flatbread. Let's check over here. Got some more glue. Alright, we'll put our glue up here. Alright, um, this is going, so that doesn't seem to be doing anything. Our crushed black quartz didn't do crap, that's alright. So I need a new hopper, I need another flame grilled hopper. Um, that'd be rad to have. Okay, saw. Planks, that's easy. Okay. Leather belt. Rice slime ball. Glue. Okay. So, leather cordage, which is a leather strip. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure I have some leather. I do. Okay. There's my leather. And then I take a flint work blade to that. And that gives me nine leather strips. Let's do let's do another nine to be safe because I honestly don't know how many I'm gonna need here. I'm gonna, I can always use more of those in the future. All right, so there we go. So that, and we'll put put my tools in here. All right, uh, so we got that, and now we need okay leather belt. So a leather cordage. Oh, that's hemp rope. That's not that's not strang. Okay, so all right, this. So I need four of these. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna hold on to the rest of this. Okay, four of those. And now I need that glue. Get oh, Jesus Christ. Um. Oh, that's stupid. I don't need these rush stems. Alright. You go away. You go away. Hemp seeds I'll hold on to. Rush seeds don't need you. Plant fiber don't need you. Alright, the rest is all good. Okay. So now... This, I need my glue. So, un glue. All right. There. You got a leather belt. Put that in there. So now, top parts, or middle parts done. Copper gear. How many copper gears do I need? Two copper gears. So I need eight copper things. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get my stone mallet. Alright, so one, 
Two. Three. Four. Five. Oh. Five. Six. Seven, I think. I miscounted. Seven, okay. There we go. Okay. Just got eight of those. Alright, I'm also going to need more of these things. So, eight for the copper gear. Stone gear, that's fine. And then the bronze. So, I need four bronze plates. Do I have four bronze? I have one. Okay, so... This was... To get a bronze ingot... It was copper and tin. Copper and tin. Oof. And one tin. Okay, so we'll do copper and tin. Does that get us three? Which would be perfect if that is the case. I'm excited. I just want to see if I can make the saw tonight, you guys. If I can make the saw, then I think life is good. Okay. I get you four. Okay, let's see here. Oh. Oh my god, perfect. Got me four. Alright, so now we make four. Alright. And four. Perfect. Okay. So now got enough for that. Got enough for that. Flint saw blade we'll deal with. Okay, copper gear. Alright. Stone gear. I need some does it just does it have to be smooth stone? Slanted, Zach, chisel, has what? Okay. How many wooden gears? I have one wooden gear on me. Do I have no stone? I have no stone on me. Wow. 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 Okay. We'll do the oh let's do let's do the uh the bronze one first. Alright, that. And then Got our bronze. Bronze gear, so we got that, that, and so uh do these have to be dark oak. Any plank wood. Okay, so then we'll say two planks. There we go. That's that in there. I have an extra water wheel now, which we'll figure out later. Alright, uh so I need to make more wooden gears. Which, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I need two glue. Two glue. And then we're gonna go dig down. Perfect. Two. Okay, we got two wooden gears. Now we need two stone gears. Two copper gears. Booyah. Okay, we got our two copper gears, leather belt, bronze gear, that, and now we need a flint saw blade, tin gear, tin plates, so I need one more gear. One more wooden gear, alright. I'm gonna do that. I need one more glue. Man, it looks like everything kind of paid off. Okay, wooden one, there we go. Stone one. We're at stone now. Alright, tin. So I need four pieces of tin. Two, three, four. Alright. And we got our four tins. Okay. Alright, got our four tins. Now we need flaked flint, which I think was just beating flint against the wall, right? Uh, I have a crafting mat, so I need flaked flint. Um, I got flaked bone. Got plenty of flint here, though. 
So I just need to beat this thing against the wall, right? So just... There's one. Oh, there's a couple. There's two. I just need two more. Oh. Three. And four. Okay, beautiful. Alright, put my flint away. Uh, saw this. There we go. Put you away. Put you away, you away. Crafting mats, clay. Alright. Here we go. Copper. Oak. All of that crap. Saw. Boom. We made a saw. We got we got no achievement for that. Jess Kid. Jess Kid's rating me to the party. Thank you very much, Jess Kid. Oh, all right. Gonna put our saw up. Which age is Jack in? Uh, RR, RRB Russell. I am currently in the first stage. Thank you very much, Jess Kid, for that raid. All right. I'm in the first stage right now. Oh, you sons of... How are we all alive? That's good. I'll use your skin to make glue. All right. Okay. So does the saw need just to be? Whoa! Oh, that looks dangerous. Is it supposed to be like that? Oh god! I kind of want to touch it. Oh! Oh, brutal. Um, so I don't know how to. I don't. Is it supposed to go sideways like that? <coughs> All right. So now I need some dark oak. Mob farm. All right. This is dark oak. Oh, come on! <sighs> He's wasted so much dark oak. I'm more mad at that than anything else. <sighs> Stupid creepers. Alright. I don't even know if it was dark oak I needed, honestly. Uh, oh, Mulberry. It was Mulberry. I'm an idiot. Which is the, uh, these guys over here, right? Alright. Let's see if I get any more Mulberry seeds. Did I get any mulberry, dark oak sapling? Uh, don't think I did. Not yet, at least. All right. All right, mulberry wood. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I got any. Oh, there's one. Okay, good, good. Just, I'll put it right here. Okay, we got our mulberry wood. I'm gonna come over here with it. We're gonna drop it into the thing. Get some bark. Okay, is it just... Oh, sweet. That's pretty awesome. All right. And then this needed water to make soaked... Okay, fluid bladder. I have that somewhere. I kind of want to see what else happens. Oh, that's so cool. Alright. So now a fluid bladder. Which I've got. Does exist. What else did I get out of that? Sawdust? What can I use sawdust for? A bag of sawdust. Beautiful. Oh, it's fuel. Okay. Make... Potash, which potash 
All right, I don't know what I can do with potash. Anyway, all right. Getting distracted. All right, look, look, looking for my fluid bladder. All right, well, let's put that away. That away. That away. Um, put this tree away too. Stick. Put this in my tools. All right, uh, I needed a fluid bladder. All right. There it is, right there. I see it. I need to search for it. All right, so now if I do this, does that... Well, there we go. All right, I got to refill it. That's okay. Okay, let's go over here. We'll fill this thing up. Wow, ah, no one's happy. Uh... Mount Belly, or Empty Belly, excuse me. Spoiler uh, for Mun first members. Also, sorry to see. Yeah, <laughs> that's. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the cre creeper was uh, pretty rough. Like that. That. We stack, okay. That. Four and there's five. Okay, we're gonna hang this to dry now. All right. All right. I just want to double check here. All right. So I'm currently trying to get to this parchment. So parchment. Is washi luminous crafting table? That's a whole thing. Washi, which is a press, which I have. Mulberry sheet, which is four mulberry pulps, which mulberry pulp comes from soaked. Oh man, really? Four? Oh god, I'm gonna have to get so much more of this stuff. All right, well, let's hang it. Okay, so that's hanging out to dry now. Kayan Brocker. Thank you very much, Kayan Brocker. Hey, Jack, it's been a while. Hope everything has been great. Started college. I haven't had much time for anything. Well, thank you very much. By the power of the beard, rear bond. Appreciate you. Um, Zach, if you go back and play any Minecraft Let's Play for the first time, getting excluding Sky Factory, what would it be and why? Man, I don't know. I think maybe, um, maybe like the old, like, like, like Mega Dig. I love that kind of stuff. I love the digging things. That's always my favorite. Um, Empty Belly, Jack, love the new Hardcore Tabletop show. Can't wait to see the next episode on Tuesday. It's a good show, man. I'm actually really, really happy with that. It turned out really, really good. Uh, Chibi Acer, you should put an Ocelot totem near the water wheel for creeper protection. Good idea. Very good idea. Um, okay. Also, I might need to make another gearbox, too. Oh, um, let's go find more mulberry trees while I'm out and about. All right. Mulberry trees. Mulberry trees. Give me them mulberry seeds. Mulberry seeds, I get any? Oh, I got zero. I got zero mulberry seeds. That's sad. These things are quite rare. Okay. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna like let it drop. Like I'm just gonna break it and see if that's a better way to get the uh, the seeds instead of breaking the leaves. All right, there's one right there. Yeah, look at that. So I wonder if that's always the case. All right, let's try it again. Let's test this theory. Oh, there's more hemp. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, look at that. Two dropped that time. Nice. 
And we'll come over here, replace our divots. Uh, okay, beautiful. All right, let's go chop up some more of the stuff because we're going to have to make a lot of it, it looks like. Excuse you. Excuse you. We probably won't get to the parchment paper tonight just because it's going to take a lot of time. Oh, this is fun. All right, I got 17 of those. Get my fluid bladder going. All right. Dude, there we go. Oh, okay, right there. And then do this. Oh, no, not what I want to do. Do that. Oh, this is slow. This is slow. This is that quality content you wanted to see from me. I know it. You're like, man. I hope I get to watch Jack fill up a fluid bladder and soak some mulberry bark tonight. That's what you were thinking. You were like, hey, mulberry bark night, you guys? Mulberry bark night. Sounds good. It's got to be a fashion way to do this, right? Hoping we're going to hit a point where this won't be important anymore. Or you guys are telling me right now, and I'm just ignoring my chat. Hey, Jack, I've been watching the Septech streams of YouTube. Just want to say it's great to listen to, watch you as a play my own world, love your stuff. Hey, X, uh, X Ilkani, thank you very much for that. I appreciate the kind words. Uh oh, it's getting dark. Alright, I'm gonna run to the hills. I do not want a creeper to blow that up because I even got warned. You're like build a ocelot thing. I was like, I haven't done it yet. Nope, nope, nope. Go down here and nap. Okay. The chat is saying wooden basin. You can make a wooden basin do four bark at a time. Ooh, wooden basin. Wooden basin. Is that it? I could do that. All right, so let's grab some sticks and uh, some wood. Does it have to be it has to be raw wood? Okay. I got dark oak. I can just use that. Uh, can I do this? All right, there we go. We got a wooden basin now. Oh, that was a that was a step somewhere. Right there. <laughs> Looking for a more efficient way to make leather or dough, craft the wooden base and fill it with the correct liquid items and then stir. Of course. Of course. All right. So we'll put this down here. Uh, put it there. Oh, that's neat. There and then... Now, how do I stir? Or do I have to fill up more? Do I just open hand it? Okay. There we go. All right. Nice. And then we'll put last of our mulberry bark in there. Stir it up. This was much quicker. I should have listened to you guys. Uh, you can make infinite water source anytime you want by pulling three aqueducts. Wait, wait, sorry, why is this... It's not always going. Do I have to have the proper amount? I can't just do one. All right, let's do let's do this because I only need one. All right. Um. Okay. 
Uh, Zach B, I had a feeling it'd be Mega Dig, that either that or the original Dig Down, which I'm going to back and watch again before I go to bed. It, I, I love those, man. I, I love the sort of not traditional uh, things, but I really do dig those. Okay, all right. Oh, look at they're all they're all dry. Okay, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna pull down these guys. Two, three. My drying rack's good. All right, so now this, I put four to make a mulberry sheet. All right, hang on a second. Okay, so parchment. I just want to make one of these things. So washi is mulberry sheet pressed. Okay, so now, oh, I just threw it on the ground. I don't need your handouts. I'm an adult. All right, so and I'm going to press this. Okay. Haha, <laughs> you dig down, you so funny. <laughs> thank you, thank you, candles. Appreciate that. Micro Kayla, by the power of the beer, beer bonded. Thank you, Micro Kayla. All right, we got one washi. So it takes four. Okay, four of these, so I need 12. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 going. Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna make parchment tonight, and then we're, and then we're done. Crafting the Astral Sorcery Journal. I wanna see, I wanna see how much that takes. One parchment, oh, plant cloth. What is plant cloth? Nine of those. Oh, I can do that. Oh, we can make the book. You guys. Once you have the apartments, you're one minute from H2. You guys, we can make it to H2. We can do it. We can do it. We're, we're so close. We're just waiting for these to dry. All right. We're going to do this. We're making it to stage two. And then we're done. Then we're done. For tonight. There they go. There they go. They're starting to go. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Five, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right. So we'll do three of those. Let's go ahead and get these things pressing. Okay. Uh, we might as well hang the rest of our our stuff. Okay. There's two washies. All right, my pressing power. Oh, yeah, I'm excited. I didn't realize we were this close. All right. Three. We learned sign language tonight. We're making it age two tonight. And got some automation going. There it is. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. There's all automation stuff down there. Sweet. I'm excited. Okay. I'm hungry now. Give me that baked potato. Nom, 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 nom. God, I'm very hungry. A normal potato. Oh, I don't know. My... Um, what was it? If I shift right click. Alright. Then we'll put you there for now. Okay. Potato. Raw food. I don't know if we can bake carrots, but we'll give it a shot. Uh, cooked horse meat. <laughs> Gross. Okay. Uh I don't need that much more. Okay. Uh, these things. Aquamarine. We're going to make some parchment, y'all. Boosh. Something to write on. Oh, God. Okay. Wait. Link to the stars. I don't know if that's part of... I don't think that is a step. Here we go. All right. Astral Sorcery Journal. Astral Sorcery Journal. So... 
three aquamarine, a parchment, and then plant cloth, which is twine, like a, a bunch of twine, which I got tons of freaking twine. All right. Nine. All right, where's that? Fill this thing up. Plant cloth. And right there, this is going in my diary. Do I have to do this? Complete the ritual to transform craft table and the luminous crafting table. Oh, come on. All right. Luminous. Oh, I was so excited. It's a Necronomicon ritual. Reinforce slate. Infuse stone in a blood altar. Marble. I think I have that. Do I have reinforced slate? Blank slate. <sighs> Copper. Ah. Uh, so close. Two reinforced slates. Is this okay? I have a blank slate. All right. Reinforced slate. A blank slate. Infuse stone inside of a blood altar. So how does this work again? You can get that fast. So, okay, so what do I do? A chat believes in you. Yes, okay, so I, okay. I need a blank slate. All right, stone. I need smooth stone, so... Let me put some of this stuff away. Sawdust can go in there. Bone. Um, yeah, that can go in there. Um, wood can go in there. Um, God, I have so much stupid stuff there. Okay. Do this quick. Two stone in the blood altar, then put the new slates back in again. Two stone in the blood altar, then put the new slates back in. I only have one slate. One blank slate. How do I... Okay, sacrificial dagger. That goes in there too. Okay, sacrificial dagger. Put you in there. Um, do this quick. Okay, two stone in the blood altar. Or two stone in the altar. Oh, what the hell? Dude's got a bow. Get away from my horse. I don't wanna, I don't wanna hit my horse. Well, that's the first um, dude we've seen with the, the thing. All right. Stone in the blood uh, altar makes sense. Put those slates back in to make them reinforce slates. Stone, okay, so stone in there. Okay. There we go. That's a lot of blood. Okay. And then... Let me open hand this. And then do that. Of course, it's getting night. I'm gonna go sleep while it's going. Hopefully it, it finishes. Okay. Okay, so that one's done. So now I've got three blank slates. So if I put them back in, that makes them reinforced. Is that what you guys were saying? Bleed first, remember that you run out of blood at crafting reverses. Okay. I need food. Okay, there's one. Reinforce slate. Okay, good. Uh, let me get 
Let me get more food. So I can bleed a little bit more. Okay. Um, got a lot of buffalo meat. That's good. Okay. Okay, that'll, that'll fill me up fast. Zach B, it's been driving me crazy. Do you know the episode of Minecraft? It's the first video that Jeremy's introduced parts of the main age, age crew. I don't know, actually. That's a good question. Okay. Oh. Okay. And then put that there. Got one reinforced slate already. Oh, God, we're going to do it. Come on. All right, beautiful. Okay, we got two reinforced slates. All right, I also need oh, um, a table. All right, crafting table. Two reinforced slates. All right, so uh, it's the astral. So I need four aquamarine, two marble. So one, two, three, four uh, marble ground stuff. Oh, there we go. One, two, three. How much? Two marble? Two marble. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's eight and nine. Okay, let me get my Necronomicon. Uh, it's got enough juice in it. All right, you guys, we're going to do this. We're making a freaking astral, whatever the hell it's called. And we're going to be done. And we're going to freaking stage number two. Okay. I don't even know if I need to put that in the middle or anything. But Okay, so let's just say this at the top. All right, so uh, reinforce slates on the top and bottom. All right, and so we'll do. Uh, okay, let's reinforce slate there. Oh, that's aquamarine. Reinforce slate. Dink, dink. Marble, marble. Prismarine, prismarine. Reinforce slate. I'm gonna eat some buffalo meat just to be safe. Hello, Jack. Uh, lad, thanks. Thanks for the sorry dude via Discord, but the draft painting. Got you, dude. Stay cool. No, no problem, Shark Man. All right. And then I'm going to put this here. And then. Do I hit it with the Necronomicon? Nope. How do I. How do I kick it off? Uh. Reinforced. Um, shift click. Oh. Nope. There we go. Oh, oh there's fire. Put that out. Boom! We did it! Age two! <sighs> and also, I got two of them for some reason. Oh, okay, one went away. Luminous crafting table. I don't know what it does. We did it. We've made it. On, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put... Where should where do I where should I put this thing? I don't even know. Should I put it in my basement? Let's we'll put it here for now. I don't even know what it do I don't know what that's doing. Oh, oh. Okay. It's juicing up a little bit, whatever that means. Astral sorcery. Oh my gosh. Alright. Uh, it has to be exposed to the air to the work. Okay, it needs light. Okay, okay, it needs starlight. Oh, okay, so it needs to be night, I guess. 
<sighs> and I, I bet this will tell me all about it. Ooh. Well, that's pretty exploration. Wow. Wow. Over one of the clusters, zoom in the scroll wheel. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's annoying as hell. Constellation paper, ancient shrine, resonating wands, ores. All right, well, that's a whole bunch of stuff right there. All right, what what do we have? What's new? What's new? What's new? What, what should I jump? This book's... Okay, let's see. Age two. Right there. Welcome to the next age. Beautiful. Okay, so... Filling the gaps, constellation paper, to fill in information, astral sorcery journal, right click while holding the astral sorcery journal, store your constellation paper to save space. And then we've got uh, upgrade your prospect, craft tough dowsing rod, help locate larger variety of ores. You can use it to find ore within 48 blocks where you click, glass blowing, smelting sand in the melter, smeltery pouring into a basin, under dust seat, lantern, tier three blood magic altar caps, Made from sea lanterns or glowstone. Locate prismarine from ocean monument as a drop from the dark forest maze in the twilight forest. Woolly blankets. Wool. Oh, I get wool now. Yay. The between lands. Tools brought into the between lands from other dimensions will not be effective. We'll need to craft new tools and weapons of progress. Note, this specifically requires you to craft a weed wood sword to complete. Between lands. Place for my things. Framing table. Storage doors. Oh, nice tinkers. Oh, sweet. Oh, man. Part makers. Papers, please. Minecraft paper. Oh, there's so much stuff. There's so much stuff. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we had ourselves a very, very successful night. And you know what that means. Anytime we have such a successful night... We gotta go celebrate. There's only one way to celebrate. By making some baby buffaloes. That's right. Oh god, there's so many. Alright, we're gonna make some baby buffaloes. Uh, where's my drums? There, there they are. Okay, so it's... Uh, was it flute then drum? Or drum then flute? Nope. Alright. Flute. Drum. There we go. There we go. We're making that Rite of Spring sweet, sweet music for all these buffaloes out here. There we go. Oh, there we go. All right, make yourself some baby buffaloes, everybody. There, there we are. I hear, I'm getting some experience from the banging. Oh yeah. All these, all these little baby right there. I see it running around. Well, oh, some more babies I think in here somewhere, probably. Oh, there's so many buffalo. Look at all these buffaloes. All right. That's going to do it for tonight. We did it. We made it to age two. Finally. My gosh, it took us a lot of time, but we made it there. I have no idea where to go from here. I mean, obviously, age, age two, but, you know, we'll figure it out. So, all right. Well, thank you very, very much. Gosh, you're a great job, Jack. Good night. Learned ASL. You made age two and kittens. We had a very big night. Thank you, Scotcher. Um, Chibi Acer, it's happening, it's happening, yes. Zach B is driving me crazy. Do you know what episode of Minecraft is the first video? Okay, I don't know that one. All right, good, good. That's everybody. Vonnie, thank you very much for that. Sorry I missed you, Vonnie, though. Uh, glad to catch a bit of the stream. Now I'm off to work. Excited to see you get an RTX London. Um, that's going to do it. I'm very happy. It took a lot longer than I thought. There's a bunch of you watching right now. If you don't know, youtube.com slash Jack Patillo. You can go there, subscribe. I've got 86,841 lovely, lovely people. All my archives are up over there in 1440p. Well, a lot of them are in 1440p. So go check those out. Um, uh, if, you, if you hold wheat, they'll get closer to the totem and more will breed. Oh, I didn't know that. Thank you, KP Tangy. All right. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go get some sleep. Uh, if you randomly stumble in here, hopefully you'll give me a follow. That'd be super awesome. I appreciate it. I know you're probably, you know, lots of people are playing Spider-Man right now or Forsaken. Glad you're here. Candles, thank you. You should raid Solar. Is he still streaming right now? We can do that. Um, but I do appreciate all of y'all. 
for tuning in. Um, if you did randomly stumble in, though, it'd be great if... Sorry, I'm looking for my Twitch stuff so I can see if we can censor some Lawrence some love. Um, but yeah, if you did stumble in here, thank you very much. Hopefully you give me a follow. Super, fr It's free to do. All you gotta do is just you know hit follow. If you are following, maybe someday you'll become a warden because the wardens are the best people on the planet ever. I love them so very much. They're all awesome. And uh, of course, Christian Casavara, Zard, my mods, they make my life so much easier. Just absolutely so much easier. Is Lawrence in it? Do I not follow Lawrence? Hang on one second. Oh man, I don't. Lawrence, how do I not follow you? I, I'm so sorry. I'm going to start following Lawrence, though. Um, oh, God, he's talking. Shh, shh. Um, anyway, Christian Katsvarazard, very awesome. Thank you very much, guys. Love you all so very, very much. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's going to do it. That's going to that's gonna do it. I'm going to head out, go to bed. Uh, so when you're out there, please remember, take care of yourself. And if you have the means to, please take care of each other, too. We only have one planet. You know, we only have one play. Let's make it the best one we can possibly do. Possibly make. You know, it's very important that you live up, live, live your best life. I'm going to get indoors before a creeper blows up everything I've done. Also, I think uh, monsters might be might be more vicious now. So, all right. Um, yeah, you know, we only have one. Let's make it the best one we can. So, all right. Love you guys. I'll talk to you very soon. I'll be back. I think tomorrow night I'm playing some D&D, &D, so maybe I'll sneak on a little bit before we play D&D. Play some more Minecraft. Maybe check out a little bit of Age 2 and more of my automation stuff. So, all right. Yo, take care of yourself. I love you. We'll see you next time. We're going to go raid Lawrence. And as always, remember, by the power of the beard, we are bonded. Take care, everyone. See you next time. Bye.